Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to East Maitland Bowling Club for round three of Bowls New South Wales Platinum Pennant. I'm Bernie Two Shoes. I'll be uh, joined with a couple of legends, actually, uh, a couple of absolute <laughs> champions of the game. Uh, for a second, in a second, I'll just let you know we're watching East Maitland Griffins versus the Raymond Terrace Jets. There is quite a buzz around this ground. Lots of people here from Raymond Terrace, and uh, obviously the Maitland crew are pretty excited to be here as well. But joining me today, I'll just uh, a well-known person around uh, around bowls in New South Wales, and certainly down at uh, BPL as well. Now I know. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> ZJ, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Ben. And uh, Andrew Reese. Howdy, how you doing? Very, very well. Uh, how about this one, boys? You looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see how it goes. Local derby. Here's it's the is local derby. Much, so. Grudge match. Yeah. Uh, just watching these guys. It's uh, still finishing their roll-ups. Uh, under the lights, under this dome at, at uh, East Maitland. Um, we'll just have a look now, just quickly, at the uh, tipping competition and the leaderboard. Uh, oh, I can tell you I'm not on it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes two of us. Yeah, you, no, I'm a little bit further down as well, Ben. <laughs> That's right. So Tommy, Tommy leading. There's a uh, most of the people there are on pretty similar scores, and uh, it's just, just margin separating the top lot. However, it's only after two rounds. Mm. We've got a third round to go. You've still got time right now to get your tips in, or maybe not, or may have just ticked over actually uh, for this round. But there are three rounds of, of, of bowls this weekend, so get your tips in for the next two as well. Um, still anyone's game there for that. It's going to be magnificent. So sitting up, the, up there on the screen, we'll run through and have a look at the teams for tonight. Actually, you know what? First, I'll go through the other games of the round. So it's a big weekend, weekend of bowls, lads. Mm, yeah. Non-stop this weekend. Yeah, non-stop. So today, uh, or tonight, uh, one, all, all the games tonight, every, every team playing. Tarrant Point versus uh, Mount Lewis Lions at Tarrant Point. Uh, Warilla Gorillas versus Engadine Cougars at, uh, at Warilla. Belrose Bulls against St John's Park, Wente Leagues Magpies against Cabra Bull Ants, which I think is a, will be a ripper of a game. Maryland's Magic in Carlingford, and obviously tonight's game, live stream game, East Maitland versus Raymond Terrace. But then it kicks off again tomorrow with uh, Maryland's versus Belrose. That's the live stream game. Lee Stinson will be looking after that one for you, um, if he can sort his computer out. He's uh, pretty pretty. Technically non-gifted, I think is the best word for that, the big fella. <laughs> Carlingford Koalas, Raymond Terrace, Gorilla Gorillas uh, against Wente Leagues, Cabra Blance, Tarrant Point, Mount Lewis Lions, East Maitland Griffins and England Cougars versus St John's Park. So if you're around those areas, guys, get to those games. They start varying between 1 and 4. One, oh, they're staggered throughout the day. So go and have a look. As these lads just finished their... Um, finish their roll-ups. Who are you looking forward to seeing here, guys? Which player? Ooh. Not that guy. <laughs> there's, oh, uh, no, he's a big unit. I've seen, definitely some, seen enough of him at Dubbo. Yeah. <laughs> there's definitely some elite talent out there tonight, so there is Benno. You did see a bit of vod- the vodka, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's plenty of him. Yeah. Yeah, Not Bounce. as much as there was Dawn Heyman. But oh, my God. Dawny. Yeah. She's doing well in platinum, too, but from, uh, by all accounts. Oh, she's Super, mate. She is sensational. Yeah, so the bodge, that's um, Hayden Boykowski, of course, known known uh, colloquially as the bodge, <laughs> playing against Matty Bouse, who's a, uh, well, well-known, over, especially over at the Jets. He's the bowls mm. coordinator over there. Yep, been there a long time now. The nucleus of that terrace side's been there for a long time. Mm. Well, uh, yeah, speaking about the terrace um, side, the Jets sides, they're all pretty well fixed, even... Uh, you know, these guys know each other well mm. and play with each other a fair bit. Mm. And some well-known players in there. We're looking at Lee Schreiner in the middle rink. He had a surprise loss last week. Mm, bit of a touch-up, too. Yeah, he was. Uh, his social media afterwards was uh, indicating he was pretty disappointed, I'll tell you now. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd say he'd be out for a bit of revenge tonight. It's, it's a Lee playing right. With, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So, good thing uh, is good players like that don't have losses like that too many times no, in a row. Very rarely. No. Start there from Daniel Hooker. Get the crowd going, early doors. Yeah, the first thing you yelled, heard yelled out was, go go the Jets. <laughs> the hangar has been emptied tonight. They're all here. Josh Bell, fair response. So this, the teams we're looking at here, Matty Bouse, Lennon Scott, uh, Brennan Stokes and Josh Bell. Uh, on the other side for East Maitland, Hayden Boykowski, Nathan Mitchell, Ty Turnbull, and Daniel Hooker. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, it's two rippers. Two rippers from Daniel Hooker to start with. Okay, some hooky. Josh wasting no time straight on the map. See this going. It's my first time to this club, and I'm yep. interested to see what, how this uh, synthetic they're playing on here. Oh, here it goes. Actually, it's a real good surface. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's probably one of the better on. carpets I've played on. It is. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard to fold. So there's there's a couple of markings on it that can be a bit tricky, like most greens. But um, on the on the match rings, it's not much of a home field advantage at times because it can yeah. be, mm -hmm. can be quite quite handy to catch. It's got a wider side and a, a pronounced narrow side. And that's the uh, that's the side the Griffins are sticking to at the minute. Yep. I think Raymond Terrace is pretty similar, actually. With their, their synthetics, it's not carpet. This is a carpet no, it's surface. A, but it's a, it's a well it's used flash, yeah, plastic. It's well used, yeah. That is a very good home advantage for, for Engadine to come up there last week and get that yeah. one. It's not, there's not too many other sides are going to be able to do that. Well, Rillo, obviously, the night before struggled. No, I think right. we've really got a... Oh, look here from Brennan. Oh, yeah, I think uh, we've really got a bit of a shock when uh, at the noise. Mm -hmm. You know, we're hearing about, even hearing it tonight and then... Um, after the game, the first ball went down, touched the jack, and the whole place erupted and yeah. didn't, didn't go get any quieter after no, that. I mean, they, I mean, they've been successful over a long period of time now, the Jets, and that brings a pretty good culture with it, and oh, people want to follow success. So it seems that they had a fair crowd out there the other night. I actually spoke to Gary about it, Gary Kelly. Um, says, yeah, there's a few there, but definitely the um, having it under the dome. Yeah, yeah, and, and it makes it loud. Yeah. And that's a good, good second. It would have been loud there too. It echoes. Yeah. A bit of aggression that, here, straight up. That, uh, dome. Here we go, some pace. Yeah. He's on yeah. on target. Oh, got two of them, all right? Couple out. Makes it better. A lot better. Opens it right out. Very good shot. Didn't waste any time going for it, did they? Yeah, not messing around. Showing some intent early. Nathan Mitchell sticking to this backhand side of the rink. Should get back a fair bit of that too. Yeah, it's coming. Speed looks pretty good. A little bit more would have been nice, but give Lennon a bit of a guide in, I suppose. When there's a breeze blowing underneath here from this right side too, it gets even wider that hand. You can, you can be right out there. It's not a bad track from Scott, Lennon Scott, either. Lennon just yelling, yelling at his ball. Not bad. So let's have a look. Straight away, a big amount of people watching. Well done, everyone. Jumped on board on this Friday night. Friday night bowls does not get better than this, I can tell you. I've uh, first two rounds or anything to go by then. We're uh, in for a cracking game. The words obviously got around that Andrew's here tonight. <laughs> Making his commentary debut. Yeah, I can imagine what the Facebook page is like at the moment. No, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out soon. Yeah. <laughs> they generally don't miss. Pete Thornton here. Both of us too. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Thornton here, mate, saying DJ, the newest podcast specialist. <laughs> Superstar, I'd say, yeah. yeah. It's excellent. Yeah, dipping the toe in the water, see how it goes. Me and my mate Simon Little there down at Tower Point. For some particular reason, think that people want to listen to this, so we thought we'd give it a crack. Oh, I definitely have a look what at a it. shot here from Lennon. Oh, oh just the a piece of a feather on the way through. Everyone's chasing that that one lead bowl now. It's uh, mm. it got there and it stayed there. Uh, Des Cross saying, "Give us some tips." Well, I've tipped uh, I've tipped the Jets tonight. I think all the staff did. If you look at the uh, staff, I'll go through that in a sec. Uh, Here comes the slow mo replay. Thanks to up a little bit there, didn't it? Look, he was all over the jack. Yeah, just uh, slow mo replay. It's a great production here. Thanks to uh, Spacequake Sports, David over there, and his cameraman doing an extremely good job as usual. And we saw him last night at uh, Warilla for the Foresight mm. too. It's good to see. You. I'd say, uh, having done the Bullshit South Wales stuff before, Benelis is a pretty impressive setup here. These guys have got going. It's good to see. Yeah, I love it. I must say it's a bit different not having Andrew <laughs> Lynn. It's, not, it's a bit different not having Andrew Lynn here, but I'm not complaining either. <laughs> Andrew's definitely watching at home right now. Oh, and, uh, here we go. 
He's probably got his, uh, his subtitles in. turned on as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> now he'll be uh, giving me an assessment later on, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa V just saying Hayden Boykovsky. Sorry, I, I'm nearly there. It's hard, tried, Lisa. hard it to a, pronounce. Everywhere was, you go, it's pronounced differently. Lisa's... Um, <laughs> I think he's mum, by the way. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, at Dubbo. I kept saying it wrong, and she yeah, corrected me yeah. a few times. So I'll remember that one. What rinks are they on tonight? So we're on rink 14, 15, and 16 here on the uh, on the carpet. The bodge and... Uh, well, he's just having a good discussion about this next shot, actually, aren't they? Yeah, probably having a look at what um, Marty Bosch might be looking at. Where do we need to cover? Because I know the terrace obviously were attacking from the get-go, so they've got a, quite a few back balls in there. My very good mate, Stewie White, on there from Moama. Evening, mm -hmm. mate. Yeah, platinum pennants, brilliant. Move yourself, move your club in New South Wales and come and put a team in next year, mate. <laughs> That's a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just trying to draw another here, Andre. Yeah, he might get through his own or just beyond it's handy as well. Great shot. Very good shot. Sure. Tidies it up a little. Good celebration. I dare say we'll see a bit of attack here from Boise. Get the two balls next to you after. He's come down having a good, good look. Good chat with Leonard. Yeah. Yeah, I was just indicating he could get it off the inside of his own as well. He'll be up to this. Mark Conway here just reminding me that uh, I was in Tamworth the last couple of days and Zone 2 won the, uh, won the veterans. So they're still celebrating from that, I'm sure, those blokes. Oh, there you are. Peter Thornton straight away. Reese's face made for radio. So you're copping it already. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be long. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised there's a certain That's Aaron Appleby on there soon giving me gracious That words. was the pot calling the kettle black, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Thornton's got a, uh, a pretty, yeah, pretty head, of course. There's these keyboard warriors here, aren't you? Just ignore them, mate. You'll be right. <laughs> Just remember that for Sunday when we play them at Penance, mate. Yeah, correct. <laughs> well, here we go. Up and That's that aggression you were talking about. Yep. He's punched it, and it's gone he's to a terrace ball. He's got a couple of them. He made a couple of up. Very good shot. Watch this come down. Perfect line. Benefit of back balls. Yep. Clobbered, the, uh, clobbered that front lead ball. And moved Jack across just enough to the back to it uh, for Raymond Terrace. So two to start with to the Raymond Terrace team, to the Jets. And T to T. Looks like the order of the day for these lads. Yep, this is what they were rolling up to earlier. It's uh, pretty common. Even if you play against the zone two side, they generally always start with T to two. That's funny. We tend to start short down, down the um, south coast, most of us. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's probably why then. You still like to walk there too far. Yeah, that's why we're all slack, just lazy, yeah. lazy bowlers. A lot of good bowlers, they love tea to tea. Mm. Practice tea to tea all day. <laughs> Great start there from Josh Bell. And Seymour saying, nice of, uh, nice of us to have a club coordinator here to chat. And Seymour, she's uh, always on the streams, lovely lady. Yeah, and that's one of our members. Mm -hmm. Dropping a bit short there. Josh Bell's first one. I'm looking at the wrong screen here at the moment. Sorry, bit of a apologies. grimace there. I think it's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah, he's pulled it a bit tight here. It was pretty handy, but yeah, just pulled the line in a bit. Yeah, had a fair weight. Mm. Uh, Dean McWinnie is the question. Uh, I'll go through, actually, while well, these leads are bowling, I'll just run through. The other two teams uh, playing out there, of course, I'll go through the home team first. Josh Walker-Davis, Michael Abel, excuse me, Benjamin Osborne and Troy Burton. I'm reading them in the wrong direction. Against, I'll go lead, Timmy Twining, professional lead. Dean McWinnie, Jason Stokes and Lee Schreiner. So Dino's playing with uh, Lee Schreiner. Here's the answer to your question, Christine. Oh, Chris. Uh, Took me a second to figure out who you were. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you on the stream. Um, for East Maitland Griffins on the far rink, Barry Mungovan, Mungovan Terry, uh, Tony Wicks. Jeez, I'm having trouble seeing this under the lights. Uh, Rodney Darcy and Jack Ryan. 
Rin? Ja Jake Rin. Jake Rin. This yep. is Jack. Yeah, that's wrong. Uh, against Ian Lean, Lachlan Freeman, Shannon Giddos, and Peter Taylor. Peter Taylor, really excited to be with the Jets. He, he was one that I was talking to. He couldn't believe the noise of last week coming from uh, wherever he was up. Austin, Austin, Austin Boo, yeah. 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 He plays in, plays in the Queensland Premier League. Played with um, Tweed Heads a lot. Yeah. So he'd be used to a bit of noise while playing ball. Stokes chasing this one up. He likes it. Mm, pretty good speed. Mm, bad. Yeah, shot, shot. Well, everyone on the left-hand side of the line at the moment, which is interesting. Perhaps a little width there they're not expecting. No, I think it's more a case of that it's a tight hand, so they sort of try and hug that, that, that tight line. If they mm. get a fraction wide, it just holds. Just a little bit overshot there yeah, from Ty Turnbull. A little bit too much speed. The old curry curry draw shot still in the <laughs> system, Andrew, is it? Yeah, well, played third for me a lot. Just noticed Michael Oval out there in the uh, the old oof thongs. Ah, yes. <laughs> Haven't seen a play the play yeah. though, wearing them. No. And like I said, I was with the veterans last week and there were guys there wearing, still wearing brown shoes. Yeah. That, that was the thing. He said narrower hand. This looks like a pretty good width. It's all about weight to there. Just not quite. You're watching the replay too, man. I am. <laughs> I'm just going to stop that again. Yeah. I've got to figure out a way to see the comments without seeing that. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we'll just yeah. put a piece of paper over it. <laughs> Idiot. Nathan Mitchell reach up through. <laughs> shop, I'm a professional, guys. That's not uh, <laughs> too oh, much it's to pretty easy to do, mate. We've got a lot going on. Yeah. Oh, it's not as much as I usually have. It's all right. The production team look after us pretty well. How about those glasses, Lennon Scott? Aren't they good under the lights? <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit of glare there. Going all right so far. He's a bit underneath yeah, again. Get a bit under. Might use this short one, but nope, just passed. Will not be lost. His head's certainly calling for Nathan to be up and through. Change of hand here on the forehand, though. Interesting. What can he see? What can he see that we can't on that hand? His own bowls, two of them in the front. He's, uh, his bowl coming through, we're expecting him to get the hole and get to those back bowls. Yeah. I think the back corner sort of shaping up to it a bit more for each one or two. Just draw away. That narrow side can be a little bit uh, unpredictable too. If you're trying to keep a draw line down there, it's... It's hard. You get a little, little skip out. He could turn that bowl of linens in. Benny Rouse will ask him about uh, Timmy's shirt. No, it looks great. He looks fine. <laughs> I don't see an issue. Better than Nathan Mitchell's shorts. <laughs> Ooh. Look for your sake. Nobody's listening to this bug, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> uh, that one short as well. Next door. just playing that same shot he called Nathan on. Yeah, look, so bit there's two here from White, but yeah, doesn't want bases. It's Matthews. Yeah, he's got a turn of both of them. Yeah. Try to turn that white one, eh? Hey? Look the crowd in the background through the window. It's actually interesting. I've seen most of the Maitland crowd sitting up against the window, and most of the Jets sitting outside. Yeah, yeah. But under there, basically. So I reckon that looks like a one to uh, uh, East Maitland at the moment. I think so. I think I so. There's front. I think ones. it's two to room and terrace. Yeah, I reckon it's it's one to terrace, and then very that, very close for another one. That yellow and green one. You're looking at Benny's uh, Marty Bosch's one, not Nathan Mitchell's. I think the white ones are just out. Just out? Yeah, I think it's Josh Bell's. I think Josh oh, no, yeah, I'm sorry, look live, yep. Yeah, I think Josh Bell's got the shot. It's close for second. They didn't give us much mm. indication. Matty just, Matty called a shot and um, Lennon just said, yep, let's do it. 
They've played a lot of balls the, together. They don't need to talk about it too much. The bowler, the bowler's Jack Eye can be close. It could be a little bit deceptive. Yeah, that's right. With the, it's usually the Jack Eye bowl that wins. But mm. he, I think the way he, way he just called that, he's saying uh, that they're one down. Yeah, well, the, yeah, he's just going to play a draw shot in the four run, I think. If he beats that one, he's close for the shot anyway. Three of his own coming in. <laughs> Does he cross and get out my scope? I usually carry a uh, gun sight. <laughs> so I can look down. <laughs> Come in handy more if you're playing pennants on the weekend, to be honest. <laughs> well, he's off after it. Does he like it? He's certainly interested in watching the player. Yeah, he's a little bit under. It all depends on his speed. Got a bit of speed, but is he? Might just drop in here or oh, one of that little touch. Yeah. One. Yep, one of these to the Jets. <laughs> uh, Matty Johnson. Hi, Andrew. Are you donning <laughs> the Emerald Green sh Shark number tonight? If so, line up, ladies. Huh. What's that one about? Talking about your Polish shirt from last week, Andrew. <laughs> We heard about it at work this week. <laughs> the what? The Greg Norman pulled the shirt from last <laughs> right. week. Aunt Matthew was a big fan of it. Yeah, right. Yeah, he gets jealous quite easily with Matthew Johnson. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it could be my soon to be boss, so I can't say too much. It's going to be weird. Do they ever leave you for a sec, boys? No. Yeah, we'll see about that, Andrew. <laughs> You're not going to give me a glow on reference. <laughs> well, Pelly's just let that one a bit loose. Mm, it's a little bit under. A bit under on both. The scores haven't quite updated yet, but it looks like Raymond, or sorry, East Maitland got a shot on the middle rink. Three. It's, it's only early, but they don't want Raymond Terrace getting their tails no, up. They're hard to rein in, mate, aren't they? No one I'm skipping away at all. No. course playing in this local zone too they've got the benefit of probably playing a lot of zone championships here and yeah playing the odd pennant game here it's the, it's the local, past. The local derby mate definitely not an, an alien surface for anyone out definitely, there today definitely not Good correction here from josh yeah, lucky run yeah, into that super trail. <laughs> <laughs> lead super trail <laughs> Leads to the debate, is it a good ball or is it a good result? Uh, by, the, by the look on him at the back of the ring. Adolf <laughs> <laughs> shaking his head. It's a, a bit, bit, of, a bit, of, a bit of a giveaway. Jake Lawton saying that you might learn something tonight from these elite players, DJ. Yeah, thanks, Jake. <laughs> and Desi Cross asking uh, what player made me tip the chest. We're not going to lie, Lee Schroener lost last week. He doesn't do that very often. So uh, and he's dead set focus to win tonight so that's why pretty much Des only based on that mm, he'd be champion on the bit champion of the bit he would be mm -hmm. oh good and the uh, the Jets logos have started the, the Jets icons brilliant well done everyone up chop <laughs> choppy come on young Stokes yeah, good, good speed very fair awesome mate oh if it stops oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed to straighten up there yeah. the last little bit didn't it Keeping a keen eye on it. Oh, yeah, he's played a cracker. Getting excited. That's a great shot. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> the whole turtle. Yeah, just a little um, like ridge at the back there, I'd say. Yeah. On the edge, and he just rolled into it. You don't want to get too close. It sort of rolls downhill a little bit. So you've got a purpose on this one. No, nope, maybe not. Uh, Swinging the arm. Speed chop. Just missed his line, really. Have a break. Again, Don't have the benefit of the old plinth boards and grass green to no, I mean, the that keep, keep you up on the green here. Yeah. Plinth boards? Hmm. Yeah, the, the, plinth, the plinths of the, plinths on the edge of the grass green. green. Okay, yeah, sorry, of course. The, the, 
Sorry, lip. I thought you were talking about something like this. Something no, involves what, it, I don't know about what, it. What, what, what the lip, lip of the uh, ditch and the grays yeah. up, holds, yeah. holds it up. Having listened to your commentary, Ben, I think there's quite a bit of it. You don't know about pools yet, but we'll get there. Oh, That's oh, right. oh, I can't even argue. <laughs> wow. Hey, he called for a bunter. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> Come <laughs> argue. So I'm just a fourth grade player, mate. I'm fine. No. <laughs> so I thought you'd, there was some kind of special thing that, that uh, nah, he's you, guys in, in you guys in Newcastle up here have oh, yeah. some special things about. I've got news for you. Grass greens down your way and have the same. Oh, they definitely do. <laughs> yeah, but they're better looked after in some cases down there, mate, so they don't really see them. <laughs> <laughs> wonder, wonder Raymond Terrace. Yeah, a good, good shot for from Lennon Scott. I've got a good view of uh, berry bowling clubs. Uh, yeah, I've seen, seen that during that the problem. week. Hey, it's not good. No, it's sad. It's rough as anything, mate. So, uh, and but huge volunteer effort. The uh, eighty people or something turn up the next day. That's people awesome. from a, they went to have a car show there, and people just turned up because they couldn't awesome. have a car show. Yeah, sitting on shovels, shoveling mud and stuff. They had a good, uh, couple of inches of mud sitting on both greens. But yeah, no, it's yeah, cool. huge effort down there for them. It's great. Yeah, it's good when the community comes together about me, especially after something like um, what we had last Friday with all that rain. Well, look at that face. That's an he's, uh, face. a concentration face, isn't it? But yeah, I don't think he's, he's going to get there. Under. You know, this is an Australian game when you see a guy running in thongs the across the middle of the green there. <laughs> 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 wasn't a streaker, was it? <laughs> you guys should really pull up your phones and have a look at the comments. I'm not going to read them oh, all yet. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, no, I will, no, I'll leave that for later. Especially if it's Matthew Johnson involved. <laughs> oh, Laney. Uh, I see what you're saying now. There it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'll leave my pun on another one there. Have you heard of the story of David and Goliath, Ben? No. <laughs> <laughs> that David Lane fella, he's both. <laughs> <laughs> so he is. Yes. <laughs> Very keen listener of the podcast, though. He's been teaching some of our boys how to listen to it as well. So oh, good, teaching Man. them how to listen to it. Yes, he had it. Yeah, but if you look at that our, is Irish. If you look at our no, if you look at our um, Facebook page for the club, Andrew, which I do. Yeah, he had it. He had a very good crack at me last night. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Mitchell, oh, heavy. Oh, oh he's got shot. Shot forward. Will it die? Gone. Gone. I think so. Yep, that was a good shot. That was. Was nominated for the, that edge and he got it. Well, it's interesting because uh, his first shot wasn't great. He wasn't happy no, with it. No, and that's just knocked it forward and geez, mm. a few meters forward outside the ditch. That's great. Yeah. It was definitely looking a bit tricky for the Griffins there with the toucher sitting on top of it, only about a foot out from the ditch. Uh, good shot there from Chucky. Geez, even his slow mo it looked quick. A bit unlucky he didn't drag it in and stay right on top of it. Mm, could have done. So we're just focusing there on the uh, on the tattoo on that <laughs> before on uh, on his leg. That's his calf. So we, everyone has to ask about the tattoo on his leg. What's that? He goes, oh, that's my calf. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Thank Some you. interesting characters in the that. world of balls, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> love it. He's also got a. Uh, <laughs> he's also got a. Uh, a uh, a uh, tattoo on his neck of a turtle. And when yeah. he asked about that, oh, I'm wearing a turtle neck, he says. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Good on him. It's the ultimate dad uh, joke the in tattoo form. Just, exactly, it's there forever. <laughs> yeah. short there, Billy. Josh Bell changed his hand from the last end up this time, up this way. Couldn't be hard or so short. Daniel, the usual backhand around the clock. A lot of people uh, don't like that. I don't mind it in the lead. No, I mean, if, they're, if, they're putting it within, if you're putting two balls with a foot every time, if, you're not going to argue. If yeah. their weight's consistent enough to be able to do yeah. it. Very good. Not very often you'll have a chop at the lead for getting too close. No, no. Don't care how they do it. Although I have seen it happen. I saw it in a tournament at... I think it was George Dawes, the old legend, legend from the past. He yeah. um, he was giving it to his lead yeah. because he was getting too close, but he was leaving bowls jack high. <laughs> Great correction there from Josh Bell. Yeah, well. Great correction. I always think the leads battle is a bit of a subplot to a game. I think they're um, 
it's almost like the singles game at the start and it mm, sets up yeah, so much. Uh, I was meaning to take stats tonight, actually, to see who... Um, if it actually... How often the lead winning the uh, end equates win. to a win on the, uh, the other side. Yeah. So. Yeah. If Warren Shipley's tuning in... I was going to say, <laughs> the Warren Shipley stat... Warren, Warren will know what's going on there. Yeah. So just... So I was commentating with him yesterday, and he yeah. was taking that stat for yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I never found he the stats. Well. One. It's only one problem with that, but his stats are always flawed because he doesn't count killed heads. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so he, he, he'll say that one lead against another lead might be five each or something like that, but yet there might be four dead ends where one of them has been on, all over it on that, on that dead end. Yeah, good reply, good positioning. It's not bad, but I don't think he would have wanted to open it up like no, that. No, so it was a, sort of what we call a good button, wasn't it, from yeah. Brandon? Yeah, left, left his bowl jack high. Is he nicknamed Junior Junior because Dad's called Junior? <laughs> or what's the... <laughs> junior Junior. What's the go there? The third? Like Jason Junior Junior. He's named junior. three. <laughs> Can Jason still be called Junior? <laughs> Ty's close again. Oh, hit it fat in the shot. Beautiful. Ty. That's why he didn't want to open it up. Ty's seen an opportunity and he's still got well played. Stakes, he's called Junior for other reasons, but... Ah, OK. It's, it's in junior is in Mark Wall. Ah. Was a bit of a resemblance. Yeah, it got punter. And then, yeah, yeah Junior. Yeah, so. OK. Yeah. Needs some just, turn here, but sitting back won't be bad. Just overcorrected, but it's going to be useful back there. Ty, I'd like to do the same again. How's his memory, Andre? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. He's, he's not that old yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a lot younger than he looks. I oh, know, yeah. <laughs> yes, that is correct. 21 last week, wasn't it? <laughs> he wishes. Hayden's interested in this one. Two cracker two crackers, two crackers from Ty Turnbull. Turns out his memory's pretty good. Yeah, Very good. it's not bad. Very good. Might see a bit of aggression a bit on of the backhand there. The backhand there, yeah. Yep. Got the wide bowl of uh, Daniel oh, yeah. Hookers. He can That's work off up. if he needs to. Lennon's definitely confident on his backhand side, isn't he? That's a wind, the wind-up from Lennon. Here he comes. Ooh, Ooh, that's that's, out, that's out of the road now. Yep. Good by Sheila, got it. She's actually sitting in uh, Shippo's chair at the moment. Andrew, he was meant to be here tonight. He's had to uh, take off and look after his uh, mother-in-law. So good, all the best, Shippo. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you're watching it at some point. Don't worry, I'll rub it into him too. <laughs> it's got to be something good to get, get him out of the comedy box. Yeah, I reckon, I know. <laughs> He's good at it, though. I'll give him that. I enjoy sitting next to him. Well, so he keeps telling me. Oh, I won't tell. Don't, yeah, he goes all right. I won't inflate his ego anymore. He's already walking around with his chest hanging out with the, for winning the state senior. Yeah. I, I, I room with him up at uh, the Gold Coast for the Australian Open over the last couple of years. He's pretty entertaining yep. to listen to at times. He's a good bloke. Get a chuckle out of him. Just hanging out there. It's that narrow side. Mm. It'll be hard to find a consistent draw line to get down. It just there. can be tricky along those chalk lines, can't it? It just can sort of holds them a bit. Lennon's into it again. Yep. Close up. Close again. Missed that short one. There you go. Yeah. That's the result they wanted. He's cleared everything out. Looks like one from this angle to the Raymond Terrace Jets. It does look like the back bowl, doesn't it? From this angle anyway, but yeah, so it's still pretty close. What a great shot. Cracked in that front one beautifully. Cleaned yeah. out four bowls. Yeah. And it's back to a draw game. Yep. Nathan Mitchell getting the first attempt at it. Not Has quite got there. enough. Oh, no. Not Just going to pull up. Two ball singles game for the skippers now. We've got a few few people watching YouTube as well. YouTube's usually where uh, people watch this at the clubs. So welcome mm-hmm. to everyone watching at the uh, respective clubs. At the certainly at uh, they'll have this on the screens up at uh, up at the hangar. And it's I can turn around and look inside. It's up in there as well. So welcome everyone. Man, he's not far away with the first one. Just wants it to finish. A funny little turn there at the end. Mm. Doesn't look like it's going to make the trip. No. Hard to 
tell who's actually who is actually holding there from there. Yeah, there's a lot of space in there. Just got a little toucher from Marty, he wouldn't argue. Is he gonna make the trip? I think he's there. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry a bit more. Alright. Wow. Wow. Chucky, Chucky will have a look at this here, maybe give us some indication. Fresh air shot. He's not super sure, he's just a draw shot either side of him. If those two balls, if those two balls of East Maitland beat Maddie's last one, would you be tempted to go the two balls? Yeah, go for I know Hayden's, Hayden's more aggressive than a put than a, and draw. Well, Jack in the pits. Well, even, if he, even if he's wide, he's a chance of getting a feather back across the jack. Yeah. yeah just, just listen to, to what they were saying. He's, um, they said they're one down, and they've got two seconds. Yeah. So he's going to so go go those two balls. Yeah. He's not going as solid as I thought he would. He's got to have a bit of a swing if he wants the jack option too. So yeah, he's close. Holding. Holding. Oh, got one. He's got one. Mm. So let go, let's go Griffin's call. Is it something uh, these guys don't mess around with their magic fingers or the me or, nah, <laughs> or circle it around? No messing around. If you look at it 15 times, it's not going to change it. Put the tape on it. Yep. Landing straight in there. I'll say I'm guilty of doing it because I actually trust my <laughs> fingers doing that. So. Yep. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the worst call ever. He stands it at one down. But yeah, he's only got the tear boat straight away. One to East Maitland. See it, East Maitland on the board for the first time tonight on this rink. Big board looking at uh, oh, 7 4 at the moment to Raymond Terrace. Pretty low scoring game after seven ends. That's 11 shots in seven ends across three rinks. Yep. And uh, well, next door. Uh, what is it? 3 1. Yep, Shrain is down by two shots. No, it's actually on the board. It's actually 5 1. 5 1 now? Mm hmm. After three ends. Yeah, wow. Barry McGovern's just in the way of the other board. I can't see it. But yeah, the middle rink's currently 5 1 to Walker Davis. Just a bit of insight here from uh, Jeffrey Davis. Josh will be leading a Tasmanian team in the state fours heading to Tweed as he won in Tasmania. So that'll, that'll be good for the Nationals. Nationals happening between. Uh, Tweed Heads and Broadbeach. Is it Broadbeach? Yeah, Broadie's. I was thinking the. Um, sorry, where they're holding the BPL, but yeah. Uh, Broadie. That'll be good. Yeah, that's good. He's been, he's been out of the state side for a couple of years now. Just some things about the players on this. Um, Daniel Hooker, the lead for. Um, for Sorry for East Maitland, definitely. Um, Started bowls in 2000. Lee, Shrain, uh, sorry, Lee, Lee Stinson has been doing some research on us. Mm. Uh, started bowls in 2000, so 24 years ago. CMC singles winner 2010, 2016. CMC pairs 02, 07, 09, 17, 18. Club challenge runner up in 07. 2007 zone 6 triples winner, zone 6 fours winner in 07. Bowl of the year in zone 6 in 2007. Uh, club challenge winner in 08. Jeez, he's won some things. He's won a Grade Three pennant, won the uh, Denman Classic Four Zone Six Fours winner, over forty pairs quarter finalist, and carried to multiple carried to multiple mixed pairs wins. <laughs> he's saying by his misses. Yeah. And Ty Turnbull, yeah, qualifies pretty similar list, a bit shorter, but I think Ty, Ty hasn't been playing for as long. Yeah, it doesn't seem when he started. But it's got current singles champion at Curry, which is cool. We'll yeah, be at the was. champion of champions yeah, coming we, up in we a couple of weeks. We won't mention who we beat in the final either. <laughs> I'll bring up something bad, did I? <laughs> yes, no comment. Right. Uh, Are you sure? I'm happy to comment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was me, OK. <laughs> uh, Nathan Mitchell's had a 13-year break from bowls. Mm. It's come back. He's yeah. won plenty of zone titles. Um, New South Wales Institute of Sport member is an under-25. Uh, skipped to the New South Wales Premier League going back. Mm-hmm. Um, Hayden, Good show there from young Brendan. That's a tighter head than we've seen, I think, lads. And then again, Jack has been moving around. Mm. The front end doing pretty well there, actually. Lee smaitland has gone for that shorter length that they started the game with. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was the three three Mitchell brothers, all from around this area. Simon from Club Maitland City is his brother. 
And uh, I don't know what what's Shannon doing these days. Shannon's up on the Gold Coast, man. Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah. started a family up there. He's not playing any. But uh, yeah, no. Simon skips a rink for us at the club. That was pretty much a perfect bowling mm. fact from where it's sitting. And of course, Hayden uh, Boy. Kovsky. <laughs> Bosh, Bosh, right. Bosh <laughs> that Russian fella. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> like crystallitis. <laughs> <There's> no, a, <laughs> if anyone should get it right, <laughs> it's, it's exactly right. That's probably you. Uh, current zone two singles winner, state singles semi finals 23 24. Mixed pairs runner up and uh, Bowls New South Wales state champ there, former under 25 state rep. International fours, two by winner, and a state under 25 singles runner up as well. So, highly credentialed this team. On the other side, I've got fewer notes, except for uh, Maddie Bouse, has played 126 tests for New South Wales. Uh, Lennon Scott, nicknamed Punner, clearly, former New South Wales state singles winner. Brennan Stokes, nicknamed Chopper. Uh, Chopper. Yeah, state uh, two pairs winners and a mixed pairs runner up. I've got nothing on Josh Bell at all. Yeah, Belly's been around this area for a, for a fair while. He's played at this club. He's played at Club Maitland City. Mm-hmm. He, uh, don't, did he ever win a, a zone singles, Randy? Did he mm, no, not that I'm aware of. I thought he was close. No, not that I'm aware of. He, um, state, number, state number one pennant with Raymond Terrace last year. Yeah, true. So yeah. Was, so. I don't think he's a bad bowl amongst that lot. Guys, that purple bowl in front no, may be fair. Two bowls just behind are pretty handy. It's just mm. going to depend on who turns turns punters bowl first. Speed two, like you know, East Melbourne one. It looks like it's nearly going to go straight to Hooker's ball. Yeah, it does. But if he hits it too hard, it could bounce back. Yeah. It's all about getting that right. Just want to crack an egg on it. Marty's call for the forehand. Well, he won't want to go too quick because that's that um, Nathan Mitchell ball right up the back. Mm. And he's just trying to turn one of his balls around to match that white one. Lisa's saying Josh played uh, City Country back when we used to do that. Mm-hmm. And that was a state selection, wasn't it? Back yep. in the day? Yep. Now oh, I'm getting to see. If you ever have a problem, ask the internet. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Josh Bell did most of his wins in juniors, started bowling at Greta Workers. There you country go. lad. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was, um, he was Maitland City when I, I thought, first got to Maitland yeah, City. Yeah, so I, I thought he started at Maitland City, but yeah, yeah must have. Serious looking faces. I might have only done that first year with me, actually, so it's been a waste in town. Mm. Might have had a bit of a break, too. The father now, so might have had a bit of a break yeah. in the train. But yeah, he left there, came, he came, came over here. here. Yep, came to East Midland. And now at the Jets. He's been at the Jets for the last couple of years, probably four years. Hayden just trying to crack an egg on the shot ball. He's got the speed to hold it. No, it's just going to go. Oh, has he got the edge off tie, but. Oh, oh, yeah, that oh just enough. Very good. Wowee. Well, we. It's one of those ones where Bousey's nearly happy that he played it because he's got a shot to play now. <laughs> yeah. Sure. In the vicinity. Just a big pile of balls in the front there. There's always yeah. something to bounce off. When he, uh, yeah, it's pretty tight here. Like, there's yeah. plenty of stuff to use there. Bose should be playing something similar. That plant's looking not too bad for him. That's what Lennon's looking at. A couple of yards through the head. Yeah, Lennon's got that one that's sort of four or five feet past, and then just pass that again to Nathan Mitchell's other one. Oh, it looks under. Ooh, that doesn't make it any easier. Mm. That, that was <coughs> my few when he crossed. Quicker. Quicker swing down on the forehand. You know it's a bit of a straighter hand. It'll hold a bit. It's a lot of traffic there. Got so he's got to get the right connection. Yeah, he didn't just go for cover, I would imagine now. Yeah. yeah going anywhere near it pretty, it. pretty fair shot to get two out of it. Switches to the forehand. We try and get down to similar what Lennon did with his. It's lining up behind the jack. You can't see where this is going. Nowhere. Not, 
another one in the wall. Yeah, interesting one here. He's got chances on the backhand still with quicker. That Thai Turnbull ball could go up. There's a bit of a gap between it and the shot they'd be wanting, but. These two look like they're part of an 80s comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really you know, two Ronnies. <laughs> you should be able to Ron, see every Ronnie shot. And Ronnie Parker, <laughs> they have the Stop. same glasses. Stop it. Bob Green saying, uh, great camera work. Yep, the guys, the they're production crew here, good. Spacequake Sports, doing a great job for us. First time they've done lawn balls, is it? Um, no, a lot of South Australian balls. Um, ah. David's, well, here we go, quick ball. Oh, he's oh, got a result out got, of it yeah. too. Wonder Lena. Everything moved. Everything was That's just essentially it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was, yeah, Not yeah. one of those front balls didn't move. That was no. little. It's, it's only the shot. This is the only shot he had and played it beautifully right down the guts. There was three or four different options there with just without weight. Yeah. And he's, oh, he's had to try and force one. something. Yeah. That was worked out. If we're not up, you can't get it. Correct. Would have been unlucky to drop a multiple. Mm. So we're back, uh, back to that maximum length. Yep. Raymond Terra special. Fortunately, yeah, Shrainer over heavy shot next door. I mean, a celebration of the shot, but I don't know what the result was in the end. But no. Two down. No, two, yeah, two to, two to Maitland. That'll be eight one. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Craig Mathers, I've banned that word from the commentary box. <laughs> I'm scared to look. No, just drive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and Margaret asking where they're playing. We're at East Maitland at the East Bowling Club, which, if you're wondering, is uh, north of Sydney and inland from Newcastle. Second best club in the LGA. <laughs> <laughs> If the security aren't looking to that, or I'll be out the door pretty quick. <laughs> They're not listening, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Might be listening, maybe not understanding. <laughs> well, I don't know what they all go on about. I don't think your accent's that hard to understand. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> that Aussie drawl of mine, was it? I thought we had an interpreter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Broadcasting today in two languages. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> People can turn their subtitles on. Now the leads really jumped on at every end, have they? It's sort of been in and out. I don't have a problem racing. I've sat in a room with Jeremy Henry and um, Gary Kelly. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, they've got a thick accent then too. Oh, they get together as well, jeez. <laughs> Here we go. That's good old, old, good old ball of money back at home. It's not just the thick accents, it's the ones that speak quick to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we try to slow down, but sometimes we get a bit excited. Yeah. Old Irishman at our club used to s <laughs> you say to him, talk slower, he'd say, listen quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Fair call. Now enough we'll be asking who my co-hosts are. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, you know who they are. <laughs> DJ and Reezy. Can we block him? <laughs> <laughs> I like his band tracks. He's not bad. Nah, you don't have to put up with them yeah. all the time. <laughs> I had 16 years there's of no, it, There's no off switch, Ben. <laughs> it's, right. just, it's just <laughs> relentless. You should try rooming with him on a way trip. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you. Wake up the next morning to have a bed with sand in it. <sighs> Bowl shoes in the freezer. Brandon's got a pretty good line here. Is he out of the yard that he needs? Over. Yeah. yeah, Lennon was interested there, but he stood up pretty quick. Yeah, a little overcorrected. Yep, yeah, just overcorrected. Always useful back there, but you play quite an attacking game, so every back ball you can get in is pretty handy. Good crowd in tonight, isn't it? Yeah, good man. Like you said, the wind. Look over the window there. They're three or four deep mm. in the back there. 
Yeah, the Girdler just saying, uh, notice the centre line marker on the green. Other games have watched had lines marked on either side. They're there as well. They're just a bit fainter at the moment. This, this green uh, has alternate, alternating uh, white and blue lines. So when they move the rinks across, it's easy to, easy to tell where to go. The chalk white lines have been remarked today, I'd suggest. Oh, just a second ago showed two of the juniors there as well. They'll be down next week. Speaking of juniors, that's uh, the New South, New South Wales Junior State Championships next week. Start in Warilla on uh, Monday or Tuesday. I think it's Monday afternoon, actually. And uh, 99 of the state's best going on there. Yeah, good initiative this year with them having a couple of age groups. Oh, yeah. We can't wait for that. You think that may have been a contributor to having having more entries? I, I absolutely think so. A few yeah. of the younger ones entering and not thinking they're going to get all gone straight all the through this ones. time, haven't they? There's been no qualification, no zone no, tiles, just straight and get them all down there. 99, we want as many as we can. 100%, yeah. mate. It's, it's, it's the best way to get them exposed to that type of thing. Couldn't agree more. And there's uh, 33 of them are girls too, which I think uh, is a yeah, huge that's number, su- by that's the way. Super. So, uh, very exciting times there at the juniors down at Rural. I like, I like what you've done there. I think it's a good, good initiative, definitely. Scott on the draw. Pretty good track. And he does have a good track. The boys are getting more interested the closer it gets to the jack, too. Yeah. There That's you go. A good reason why. Great shot. Pumper. Another shot over the far rink there. And Raymond Terrace. Jake Rin measuring. Not on the board yet. Just check his response to Lennon. Just going to pull up. Yeah, pretty handy second. Effort, yep. Three seconds now. You think mm-hmm. you'll be reaching with the next one. Give his head a chance. Set the ball. Turn the jack. Yeah, it's interesting that Jake, Jake Rooney's looking pretty cranky up there too, by the way. He was throwing his uh, cloth around as he changed the board over. Mm-hmm. He's 7 nil after uh, after 4. You look at the other skip. Peter Taylor looks pretty relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> young, young fellas, mate. They can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the Australian Open this year. It'll be interesting to see your draw. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually I was struck Jake a few times, usually before the Australian Open. Mm. Having said that, I think he knocked me out in the fours last year. Yeah. Here's Marty Bose trying to follow Lennon up. Nose in front of this one. That is a cracker. Changes the angles for Hayden too. Yeah, he's still still, be, still be reaching to it, but oh yep, yeah. into the split. You get the split. I get the outside one under Jack. He's got the catcher there. <coughs> he's away with it. Has he got the right? Gonna have the right speed. He's no, yeah, gonna get the short didn't one. Have, didn't have the speed for that line. Well, but his ball's gone into the head. There's only the two Raymond Terrace. The ones there. Yeah, true. And he's cleared a path. Mm. I think the cover might be the way to go, but I'm just going to have a look. Scott down in his knees, really showing show what's going on there. Yeah. Chalk at his knees now. Look. Yeah, as he said, if you're looking at a draw and you're looking to put one just in front as a bit of a blocker. Leroy. Yeah, the yells and screams in the crowd as the Jets uh, get one in the middle. Lee, Lee Schreiner playing a good shot there. While well, he's coming back here, I just want to. I'm going to put something in the live chat here, guys. We still have two weeks of, uh, of Sydney Autumn Racing Carnival. And uh, Sydney. Of course, the Australian Turf Club, one of our partners at Bowles, New South Wales. Uh, two for one tickets to get there. Star Championships uh, Day 2. And then the Schweppes All Aged Stakes Day on the 20th. Uh, two for one tickets. Put the link in there. You just fill out the form and uh, away you go. Well, Lennon drew some good pictures there for Marty, but he's chose for the forehand. Yeah, he's just going to get across. That path's still there. To the, next to the next best option. Yep. Me fell in. Pretty close to what he was being asked to do. Yeah, Lennon, this is where I want you. Not quite. 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe just done enough. That'd be interesting. It was landed pointy. Yeah, it's only dropped a couple of inches from it. The shot's still there for Hayden, but he didn't get the jack out to that um, to the right as the viewers are looking. I think he can afford to go a lot quicker. He he's, got, he's got three fourths by the look of it. As long as it was out to the left there, it's right to the right as it's on the screen, so looking at it live. He's attacking. Better track. Yeah, he's in the area. Don't want that connection feather. now. Oh, um, oh, what's he done? Got it one, down, one down. One down. That was turned, Marty Bice's last his ball one. across. Yep. yep. So that last ball of Marty Bice, very well placed in the end, or he yeah. could have been three or four down. Yeah, true. Well, we just square cut that. Mm. Any other angle, he was uh, he was in. It's only one. Peter Dive saying, speaking of that uh, ATC. Australian Turf Club uh, thing. He's got a horse running in the uh, All Age Stakes, Private Eye. Very proud of that horse, is Pete. <laughs> Just stopped. I thought he was going to lose that jacket. <laughs> it wasn't. <Yeah. laughs> it was another quick bowl, Hemi. Thank you. <laughs> Dark Cadwell's tuning in. He's enjoying your commentary, Andre. Oh, is he really? Yes, yeah. yeah. That's his own pairs partner this year. Oh, is it? Yeah, you didn't know you've been chopped. Oh, played with Darren in a couple of years, no, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, you've won it then. <laughs> yeah, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we won it a couple of times together. Yeah, good start it. And his back got sore and he let me go. <laughs> you just notice there's a viewing area at this club up, yeah. up the top as well. Yeah, yeah you've got a... Locker, locker room's up there. Too. Yeah. You just got to duck down at the right angle, though, Benny. Yeah, that, that roof's <laughs> a bit. Yeah, it's, it's just in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, but yeah, it's, no. it's indoor where they're, where they're at. They're on this end, it's as an outdoor area. We can look over these two greens here oh, wow. as well. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, good clubbing there. I should uh, give it a plug, actually. I went no, for no, a it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, went for a walk around. There's a good-looking bistro in there and a yeah, kids', good, kids good soft meal in play area. A couple yeah. of food options, yeah. yeah. Good sports bar in there, too. Second best in time. <laughs> Josh is going to pull up here by the looks of it. And again, mate. Don't know with a chance here. Put another one side by side. They own the local golf club here too, Benny. Oh, really? Yep. Is it going all right? Mm. Mm. Okay. Doesn't look like he overly likes it. He's coming in not too bad. Yeah, he's got good speed, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Guys, Just slightly down underneath. Well, I'm glad someone's brought it up and it wasn't me. Oh, Matty Johnson just asking <laughs> if you'll be doing the right at home challenge tonight, mate. <laughs> oh, no. So we're that was a classic <laughs> stitch. So we're, oh, we're at a, yeah, B BPL a few weeks ago now. I don't need to describe it, but I'm going to describe it. <laughs> I'm going to describe the three bowls he put down. That <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, was good. The, the guys, uh, they call, the Bowls Australia call someone out to do a ride at home challenge. You get a $50 club voucher. Oh, I got stitched up. And, yeah, <laughs> and he did. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Right, well, uh, yeah, it was funny on your end of it. Trust me. It was, uh, <laughs> Old Ethel showed him up the next night. Oh, oh, Ethel dropped one straight up. <laughs> he did. That was a horrific experience. <laughs> Needless to say, my BPL career is over. It's a big it's target. target. <laughs> I was there. Steve Glasson was having a contract talks with me, and then I got called out for that, and that was the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BPL is a great competition. Anyone out and about that's uh, never been to one, you should try to get down at least for a day or a night and have a look. You can always Please. trust Matty for a stitch up. Nah, yeah. Yeah. You've got to give a little card because you've got to win now and again, Andrew. You know what it's like. <laughs> He's a battler. So here's Matthew. That's a, that's a good second. It's good to see Suze has given some time on the computer tonight. She must be at work. <laughs> Is he up this time? Just going to Just not quite there this time. And then Scott with a free look at the jack again. Yeah, those two um, bowls that are pretty much jack high are uh, tempting, aren't they? Oh, it's a good shoulder there. Yeah. Oh, 
Doesn't like the line, he's pointing for a wider. Yeah. He's looking under if his weight is there, he's probably. He gets a glance off this one. Yeah, he's going to get under this one, yeah. Carmen Plaza asking if Tash Van Eldick's playing at all for Raymond Terrace. Skipping the grid one. She played their one grade, yeah. Skipping the grid one, so. Yep. I only mentioned Carmen because she makes the best pastries on earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good shot there from Ethan Mitchell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, another one in the area. Pretty happy that he is too, by the way. High fives all around. Yep. And then we'll watch up a little bit of speed. Well, well, doesn't like it again. this one too yeah. wide, straight out of his hand. With a decent speed there, the shoulder. Land the wing one for three or four. Land the wing one for three or four is the call. I don't think he's under on again. No, yeah, no, no. he's not getting not getting out and trusting it enough on that hand. No. Yep. I'm going to trust your balls. It's easier said than done, mind you. Correct. <laughs> Peter Taylor keeps moving along there. He's up to eight. Eight now. What's the score on the middle rink? Nine one. To, to Walker Davis over Schreiner. Leroy's reaching through the head. Not too sure whether Jack is over there. <coughs> Honey Bice. Couple against them. Nathan's interested. Yeah, he's got the got the right track by the looks for that shoulder. He's got it. Oh, no, that's oh, straightened. Just uh, just on those blue lines. Then again, they can do that. Bit of speed on it too, which wouldn't help, but something to correct off. Interested in this one. Yeah, he's going to hold the white one and flop. Got the other yeah. one. Oh, flop the other one. Yeah, yeah it's Hurdle. Interesting. Has he, made it, has he made the third one? He moved, well, he rolled the brown one out. Mm -hmm. We'll see here. Dead draw from Bruce here, I think. Yeah, yeah I reckon he has. Oh, but right. it might be two. Big call for Leroy there. Well, he's down nine one at the moment, which is uh, once again a little unusual for the. Yeah, we got a two out of that one. Nine three, that'll be on the middle rink. Marty. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not the enough. No. Didn't do much at all. Well, he had to have a look at this because that brown one could be worth a few more. Toucher's good too. Yeah, they're He's a bit in. yeah, they're a bit this time. Just interested. Just gotta have the right weight to get down. Dig hard. Got draw weight. Yeah, it should be yeah. there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You would like that to lay down, I reckon. Mm, I think that might be three, a measure for the fourth. Yep. Four. Four. Four, there you go. Wow. Wow. Measure. Give it to them. Levels it up on the TV ring. goes wild. Oh. <laughs> Little fellow next to me's not happy. You just chucked the phone. Just through it, yeah. <laughs> the crowd is revolting. Yeah. Must, yeah. Be, yeah. must yeah. be a Jets <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> so four of the Griffins, and that's pretty big. Mm. Keeps that big board tight. Yep. 
I reckon Jay's going to stay down that long. Is it Jake, sorry? Jake. Jake. Yes, I'm still going off the note I had there, but he's uh, going to be down very long, but that's getting unattractive over there at uh, oh, it's nine. Is it nine or eight lot at the moment? Eight. Eight on the board. Yeah. Okay, let's just put that one over at Wade. Yeah, that's the problem with playing that hand. If you just miss your line that little bit, you just hold. And super speed. It's just lacking a little bit. Yeah, about a metre short. Daniel switching over to the four round two. Anthony Stuart Tyrrell asking, do these two clubs play in the same zone? They do. They, they do. do. Yeah. East Maitland used to be a part of zone six, but now uh, the last half a dozen years they've been in zone two. They applied and moved into the other zone. And we'll stay there at uh, regions too. Yes. From memory? Yes. Yep. Yes. yes. We just left the fan for ourselves over here. Yeah, that's minnows. <laughs> just looking at that yard. Not too badly played. Yeah, he's got a bit of weight. Persevering with that wider hand. Obviously, trust it more to come back. Lisa saying, uh, come with the Griffins. Thanks for the live stream, mate. Uh, thanks for watching and everyone that's watching online at the moment. Uh, we love having you here. And it's an absolute pleasure to bring you what is probably the uh, highest standard of penance that you'll, that you'll see anywhere. And for those that are wondering, this is a thing I forgot to do in the intro. But this is a uh, Bowls New South Wales pennant format. Essentially, the uh, three rinks, 21 ends each rink, no time limits. We play to the finish, even if they kill five ends in a row. No response. No right response. It's it. The way it should be. Purest form of the game. Isn't Correct. It? Correct. wanting this one to stop. Yeah. He's got his hands out. Yeah. Ty's just a tad runny. Just a little bit over. Not bad. About the second shot. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Shot here from Brandon Stokes. Yeah. Yeah. From young Stokes here. Yeah, yeah, very good. That's wonderful. The jack that's, uh, he wouldn't have been able to see from the other end. Just drawing perfectly around that front bowl. Sitting there for two shots now to Raymond Terrace. Just, just, got, to, just got to beat Ty's bowl now. Brandon's interested. He halves it. He's a chance. I'll tell you what. Oh, the area. shot. He's Great the shot. Cracker there. That's brilliant. Resting toucher. Magnificent bowl. Cop that. Yeah. I'm just going to follow that up and try and set him now. Make three out of it. He'll just play with a yard away. If he misses it, he'll run into the thirds behind it. So he's under. Yeah, he's just not quite up. Well, I don't think he'd be happy with that yeah. weight. No, probably want a little bit more. You need a metre through at least. If you miss, you can then get another bowl behind. I've only got that one bowl behind there. And this is all in his speed. This isn't far away either. A handy bowl. Yep. The other one there, I'd suggest the only way Jack's got to move is out to the... Uh, and you get back to the head to the right of screen there. And uh, where the Roman jet, jet, tourist jets are standing. Very interesting, not much out there. Come on, Lena. <laughs> Oof. Supporters calling for wicks over here. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, 
Darren Draper asking me if uh, I'm at Husky tomorrow. No, I'm at St. George's Basin tomorrow, Darren Draper, but uh, first time home for a while. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> the eldest daughter's about to turn 18 years old. You're not allowed to do that. Well, I'd go home. Yeah, no, I know, you can't right? be doing there's that. Bowls everywhere. There's, I mean, there's everywhere. bowls on. <laughs> everywhere all at once. <laughs> yeah, there's bowls on at St. George's Basin. <laughs> 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 And just trying to look for a bit of cover. Gets out near Bookies, earlier bowl would be handy. Jack's going to spring, you think that's around where it's going to go. Yep, up by there. Well, the boys are getting interested in this. No, it's just going to go underneath again. I just put my jumper on. It's getting a bit chilly out here, lads. Soft, soft. Yeah, <laughs> you got. Oh, I've had off the start. Short I'm not I know, but short <laughs> t-shirt thongs, bloke over here. Yeah, oh, he's from the UK. I was going to say small. <laughs> yeah, no, it's summer weather, man. That ball's still sitting there. Bodge out to the side where I said that Jack will probably go. Mm. Just be looking at another one right there. and Let Muddy play a shot if he can't. I just want to be sort of inside the last one. Yeah. Oh, a little bit more traffic for yeah. there as you get through. Mm. That's probably better. If he hits that now, it should spew off without touching the jack. You think? Yeah, I think so. The way that cannon sets up. Lots of yelling and screaming next door. I think uh, Griffin's just rescued a, an end. Well, Walker, Walker Davis has played a couple of clangers over there already. <laughs> he's a funny bloke. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's rough. <laughs> you look at him, you'd, you'd think he's not the typical lawn bowler just looking at him. But no. I uh, think he should have a walk, walkman on walking down the street. And no, he just didn't think he was swinging out last time. So it'll be another one to East Mainland here. One of the Griffins. One of the Griffins. I was having a word over there to Jamie Wace's side. Nope, he's not here. I was thinking of Dylan Essex and said, sorry, Jamie, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, over there with, and I was looking at this guy going, what the hell are you? You look like Gilligan. Yeah, and it was him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even recognise him. Yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, wasn't in uniform. Nah, top player. <laughs> he played um, He played the Adelaide Master Singles. Yeah. <laughs> On the, thurs- on the yeah. Thursday, yeah. inside Australia, he flew up here and played our Easter tournament over at our club. Oh, Won that with Hayden. And then flew two back. Days, two days. Yeah. Flew back the next morning and played on the Sunday down at Adelaide again, made the quarterfinal. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's dedication, isn't it? That is dedicated. I'd love to have the funds to be able to do it. Yeah, oh, well. it was that too, isn't it? Well, Space The only Quakes. bloke I know that does is probably John Green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about funds. <laughs> <laughs> well, Space Quake, Quake Sports were covering that Masters as well, by the way. Oh, okay. These guys. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Jake Renz dropped another count over there. It's 11 now after six hands. Oh, wow. Jesus. That's going to be starting to hurt over there. It is. Shot Josh Bell. Yeah. Okay, sort of start. Well, this. Excuse me. Here's the, the far rink and the middle rink between uh, between them holding the scores, you know, yeah. in balance because this rink's pretty it's close. Pretty tight, yeah. Yep. Matty Johnson saying surely the podcast gets a plug. Well, we did <laughs> talk yeah, about it a bit. You haven't yeah. tuned in from the start, obviously, no, Matty. No, it's not. Oh shit! Yeah, get in and have a listen to the podcast. Um, where's the link? It's on Spotify. It is on Spotify. I've got it on my list, of course. I've. <laughs> It'll be a staple from now on, mate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good attack and leading again there, Andre. Yeah, very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Makes the first three look ordinary. Yeah. Ties are under his backhand.
track's not bad either. It's not bad. It's only speed. <laughs> He's got his weight pretty well, to be fair, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, has been. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. pretty good time. He had a loose one earlier, drawn to the T to T that he flew into the ditch, but he's been pretty mm. steady since that point. Yep. Going to take game between all, all eight players so far. Nothing more embarrassing than having your ball flying into the ditch on ball of stray. Well, no. Like draw into a right at home sign or anything like that. No, no. no. National TV. Yeah, there's only 80,000 watching that too. <laughs> Benny seen me pacing before it too. I think it was I'm glad the blood pressure monitor was on. <laughs> I, I was watching it on Foxtel. I could see you over in the corner. You were as nervous as yeah, ever it was before you came on. Rude in the face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or flash biting his nails. Every time I'm getting oh, over it, go. somebody brings it up again. What's wrong with him? Oh man. <laughs> Should have heard the cooking he got when he got back to Maitland City. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all. <laughs> when I got back, the phone didn't <laughs> stop that night. <laughs> Only Johnson saying, Reese, you could afford to travel if you didn't buy a new set of bowls after a big defeat. Oh, <laughs> harsh man. <laughs> I've just dropped the link to your uh, podcast, the Spotify link, into the into the live chat. If anyone's interested in a, a new podcast of all about bowls, jump on there. What a load of bowls. What a load of bowls it's called, yep. Well, oh, the edge was pretty nice there to the amateur um, bowlers, so they're holding two. Well, probably only one now. Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. yeah, me doing that with a mate of mine, Simon Little, down at Tower Point. He just sort of thought, give it a crack. Talk about talk a bit about the balls. See see what the interest is like out there. It's been pretty positive so far. Definitely keen to get some feedback from everyone that's out there listening to it. What topics you want us to talk about, things like that. And it was nice to get a message from Lee Stinson on Tuesday morning saying that the office had been listening. And here we go. Yeah, yeah there comes the turn. Oh, he's he's unlucky there. Away. He's still one down. down. Oh, yeah, it's been fun so far. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the, no, I got a, a message saying uh, that we should talk about it tonight over, the, over this. So, excellent. Good on you, mate. It's good to see that out there. And uh, It'll be good. Uh, Tim Ball is everyone else's broadcast freezing. No, mate, that'll be at your end. I've got a monitor up on it here, and uh, the broadcast is going pretty well, actually. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here. Stewie's got a website for his is it, uh, Bowls Academy as well. It is. That's what we're doing in association. Simon's been um, toying around with us for quite a few years doing the um, doing the Bowls Academy Good. stuff. So it is. There's a website there, www.thebullsacademy.com. And, yeah, came up and visited me middle of last year, and we just got talking about ways to promote it a bit more. I said, oh, podcast might be the way to go. Yeah, we just thought with Platinum starting there a couple of weeks ago, that's the time to get into it. So we... Toyed around with it for a long time and then just got stuck in. I noticed, yeah. noticed he was very sheepish given his predictions of his games this weekend. Yeah, great shot there from Lennon's yeah, guard. Result there, and Lennon, he's probably holding two or three now. Two or three now, brilliant shot. Yeah, he wasn't too happy with me talking about one of the clubs. He was uh, Engadine, didn't let me. Since he was a local rival, Engadine, but. Well, not after they give it to him the week before. No. no, I probably shouldn't have used the nosebleed comment for him to <laughs> second the table, but you know. These things happen. Nah. Once you've said it, it's out there, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same as when you, once you've uh, drawn to a big orange mat and missed three times, it's out there forever <laughs> too, I'm finding. Who we told that or not? Hey, Ross. I just like it. It takes the pressure off me. I can just bring it up. That's all. Yeah, that's pretty, it, man. That's it. Pretty pacey. Oh. Yeah. Pull it tight. <laughs> Four there. News, Josh Walker Davis just missed one. <laughs> I'm just looking down the end. I'm pretty interested to see when uh, the Griffins on that third rink break their duck. That's uh, an attractive. Well, I don't know what's going on in the head, but the Raymond Terrace three are smiling, and uh, the East Midland Griffins <laughs> and are not. <laughs> well, might, might be attributed to the scoreboard. Yeah, but so that bowl of... Uh, it's another one counting if it flops. Oh, it turtled, I think. Yeah, it, yeah, it did. It yeah, wow. It nearly seemed to straighten up and then fall against Smith. Lennon's not happy. That's normal. Have a watch this. 
Andrew Reese. <laughs> Andrew Reese's comments are his own. <laughs> see, though, not uh, necessarily uh, endorsed by anyone uh, else here. D- uh, not representative of my employers. No. <laughs> Trainer's got another one there. Shot here from Hayden. He's giving it a chance in the forehand. Oh, oh that was a good one. Three of them. I thought it was four in one of them. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> want to say it, but it bobbled a bit. I wasn't too sure what hand it was on. But it got the result. Yeah. Look at. I think he's trying to drag the jack a little. Is he, or does he just not trust that hand after his last ball dig? Is he? He, he definitely liked it. Yeah, but, but he, yeah, you're right. I think he's just underneath he's, he's there. Looking, he's looking through that little hole and touching the jack. I think. Plenty right there to catch. Well, he holds one. If he moves, it moves it with two feet. He'd yeah, make five, wouldn't he? He's going to move it far. Mm. Just a draw with a, a foot of weight on it. Any base. Man to play it. This is the yeah, one. Well and truly capable. Well, the boys are interested. <laughs> yeah. Boise's getting interested. Yeah, he's jumping straight. Not far away. away. He's got it. Oh, oh just went way. sideways. Oh. Well, he hasn't even brought his first one in either. Oh. Yeah, not quite getting the fat. What an effort. Tapes out. Game in millimetres. Mm-hmm. I don't like that there's two bowls that are the same colours <laughs> with different stickers. Yeah, he's got to try to remember which is which. Just <laughs> the one. One to Raymond Terrace. You did the same at, at Dubbo when you were oh, commentating on my, my game in the pairs. That was disgraceful. Whinging about me and Tommy. Tom, <laughs> Tommy's bowl had dimples. I wasn't whinging. Had dimples. It did. I could see that. I'm sitting inside upstairs. <laughs> TV screen. I could yeah, see I know, it on the right? TV yeah, yeah. screen when I watched it back. <laughs> it was worse than the uh, model disability. There were two sets of yeah, rainbow, rainbow ones. ones yeah. um, I'm just looking over there. They're measuring for a sh- for the shot over on the third ring. Still waiting to break that duck. Uh, East Maitland. I'm not sure. So what they're doing then, I'll just point you through this. Uh, the... The ladder after round two is the start of round three of the uh, 2024 Bowls New South Wales Platinum Pennant. Cameron Matter Bullants on top, 19 and a half points. So that's nearly perfect. They've had a tie on one rink. Oh, there we are. They're off the yeah, two to two to East Mate on the far yeah. rink. And they've broken their duck, 11-2 after seven over there. <laughs> Baz is saying, "What do I do with the jack? <laughs> What's this thing?" <laughs> so, yeah, 19 and a half. So they've only lost. Half a point over two rounds, Captain Matter. Engadine, then St John's Park and Raymond Terrace. Sorry, Engadine and St John's Park both on 18 points. Raymond Terrace on 12. Maryland's Magic and Carlingford on 11. Riller on 10. East Maitland on 9, as well as Mount Lewis. And Belrose Wenty and Tarrant Point round at the bottom of that ladder. The top five teams go through to the finals. Um, and still very much after round two, anyone's game. <laughs> Yeah, he's through the, the jacket again. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's giving his ball a chance. He's only yeah. a couple of feet through. If he misses, mm. he's got a good catcher. I don't know if Daniel Olker will get right back to it from that behind. Got a good whip. Yeah, he's, he's trying. He he's having the speed to get around it. That narrow side. Well, can Brendan Stokes jump on this? Consolidate what Josh has already done. Mm. Just on that, I was asked where the final series will be held. It will be held and broadcast from Warilla Bowls and Recreation Club. That's on the 17th to the 19th of May. So get down there and get your tickets ready. You get your accommodation ready. It's going to be a huge weekend down there. Try 
Let's say again. Yeah, Ty's got second shot. <laughs> Just laughing at me. You're laughing at me. I'm covering up because <laughs> I've got to keep to keep up the Facebook comments. I've got to um, yeah. have the Facebook feed up, and I'm making sure I'm not uh, watching that watching screen, that yeah. screen yeah. and watching the other one. Uh, by putting a, just a little piece of paper over the front. It looks stupid, but it works. Mm. <laughs> Whatever works for you, man. That's it. It averts your attention. Doesn't, it doesn't have me looking like an idiot broadcasting eight seconds after uh, <laughs> after the balls have gone down. Ty looking to make a correction. He's, he's not quite there. I think he's nah. over overcorrected. Yep. Mm. Oh, not much as chances the leads balls. Not at all. So six all on this this rink. Ten four after nine to the Griffins on the rink next door, and eleven two after I think it's eight no, seven uh, on the far rink. And that's why it's you know four shots in it on the big board. Good shot here from Lennon. Oof. Two now two. Lennon Terrace. Maybe three. Something we've seen, uh, something we know, all of us from playing pennants, is that that big board changes very quickly with three rinks going. Imagine what it's like in Victoria playing with four rinks. Four rinks, yeah. Well, apparently we used to play four rinks here. Yeah, we did a long time ago. Yeah. 25 yeah. ends, too. Stop for a sandwich break in between. <laughs> I don't know if they ever do that here. Ah, no, I, don't I don't think they did that here. So I, don't know, I don't know if you noticed I didn't actually originate <laughs> from here. <laughs> True. So True story True. About, about Diamond Bay when I was the regional bowls manager, just as we watched this one run down. He's after it. It's not a fair line. Just needs a clear road, I think. Yeah, he's going to crash, I think. No, no. Just that clear road with you. Fall over now, yep. Yeah. Thought he could afford to be out there. That was his ball to turn in. No, Diamond Bay, what have you got for me? Sorry, Diamond Bay. So when I was a, still a sailor in my former life mm -hmm. in the Navy, I went down there and uh, and played a social game on a Wednesday afternoon. And at the, I don't know, 10th or 11th end, or that and roll through would be nice. No. Um, this uh, little chime sounded dum, 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 and it was someone playing this old ancient little <laughs> machine through a microphone yeah. and we all went in so everyone stopped playing and I went what's going on here <laughs> I had no idea we walked in and there's the long table like we're sitting at now and in the yeah. middle is this golden throne and the president sits on it Oh, stop. and he invited me as the uh, guest to sit next to him we had dead set cucumber sandwiches and cups <laughs> of tea and biscuits stop in it. the middle and he made his speeches and then we went back out and played games. <laughs> the game was the most civilised thing I've ever done where's Diamond Bay? I, it's um, Bondi Bondi? yeah I hope they still do it <laughs> do it <laughs> one of the most fantastic the things ever but the uh, the chair's still there they still have the big golden throne yeah. last time we down there and have a look same as Lannan, just needed a clear road as well. Good. Could turn that into camp if it didn't already. Mm. Yeah, certainly hasn't uh, made it any easier for Hayden. Uh, he's got a wall of bones. What's that? You've given it a chance. Probably a yard, a yard to six feet away. That's trying both. to sit and stay through it. Yeah, well, it's both his to turn up in if he is narrow. He's a bit high. Struggling to get back. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit too much. It's one of those ones, but if he had the right line without waiting and got the shot, he's not complaining. Yeah. Don't know. No, would probably needs Spicy. That, probably Spicy. needs that ditch weight to get through it and stay. He's having a look at Tyson's ball. So he is. It's getting pointed out that Dorothy Povey, who's just coming in first go Jets, is actually sitting off to my right. <laughs> <laughs> she, wasn't, she wasn't the one calling for the wick before, was she? No, no, no. <laughs> But, uh, I just I just saw you're off sending autographs again there, Ben. <laughs> Selfies now, man. Now Selfies, yeah. Autographs are so 1980s. Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching the darts. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they're really seen too. I was going to go s yeah, down and see that guy with the same haircut as me. Peter Wright. Yeah. <laughs> Copycat. <laughs> Snake bait. <laughs> Tell you what, of all the things he's achieved in his career, I bet you didn't think he'd get a mention here. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be delighted. I'll tag him in the post. Love me darts. Oh, yes, you do. It's a lot. It's great. 
great venue we'll rule for it too at the moment. If you, if you I, it's good. I, yeah, I said they've got the boards down the side of the green there now. I've, I've been there to the forest side before and they had like 20 boards back to back down the middle of the yeah. actual synthetic. I remember yeah. that. In the middle of the carpet, yeah. yeah. It, it took off, it, don't it, it, it is huge down there. They have it took from, off. When they've had the World Series in Sydney, they've um, a qualifier from from Rilla used to go and play there. It's been aggressive, no. This is just too short. Wants to see what happens. Yeah, he's got a piece of the jack, and, and he's a little too gone far. to Josh Bell. One, maybe two down. Just so a little too far. It did go to his for a little yeah, cheer, but yeah. Yeah, it's gone a little too far. But he's probably cut three out. Two, two, it was. I just want to say, Ben, we need to be careful with the darts chat because Andrew could go off on one. <laughs> I forget the balls is even being played. The worst if Simon Mitchell was here too. Oh man! <laughs> well, you just build that up, and you two can have a chat tomorrow. <laughs> just, just looking across in, just swing the other ring. Have a look how much change they've made. Uh, yeah, a really short end. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, about Raymond Terrace throwing the tee to tees. You have got to do something to change it, throw them off. Can't really see it on the <clears throat> screen. Maybe when we're on the middle camera, but across the back they've got a laid out some thick rubber matting and got people all watching down the middle of the green too. So cut the cut the whole green in half. Spectators everywhere. Terrace is holding one on the far rink with the ball to come. Yeah. He's just got people lining up here to buy him drinks. <laughs> oh, this is great. I got it's um, one of the board members, I think, actually. I think he's a. Uh, uh, I come to these clubs and I really get, uh, <laughs> and I really get uh, looked after. It's beautiful. I love it. Mm. Hospitality everywhere, every, everywhere I go. No wonder you don't go home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I could look after you better than my wife looks after me, and I know she won't watch this, so that's fine. <laughs> 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 Has enough of you when you're at home. <laughs> Josh is just starting to get the uh, get the lead bottle over the last couple of hands. Yeah. Uh, even that one, his speed wasn't that far out. His no. line was just a little, little underneath. Andrew Lynn saying hi, DJ. Hello, Andrew. I was going to ask him for a translator, but the, <laughs> yeah, no. we've heard this before. <laughs> yeah. No. Hopefully he didn't hear the start when I said how much I didn't miss him. <laughs> He's a hard man to miss. <laughs> Oh, the three of us in the sport team at Boston, if I was a big boys, I can tell you. You good scrum? I'd, I'd be the hooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. Boom. Yep. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah, yeah, good spot. So he's just going to need to get one in here. Mateus just opened up a bit of a lead on the uh, on the big board. Yeah. He's eight in at night. Leroy's just started scoring in the middle. It's, the middle. it's amazing what that can do, just to start scoring. Turn the big board over. Bit of momentum. Ties close again. Yeah, push. <laughs> Angel Lynn saying we're all fine-tuned after I said before, you <laughs> may not like it. It may not be pretty, but this is what peak performance looks like. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> peak performance. <laughs> Mine peaked about 15 years ago. Oh, Ty Turnbull started peaking since Oof. he dropped you. Hey. Again, Ty never played this well with you. He's dropped the dead weight. Look at him. Oh. Playing like a free man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good feelings. You know. Yeah, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I led with the chin there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's one day he's mailing here. One of the Griffins. And not a bad spot there either, by the way. Usable. Yeah, it's only got to be a touch by from Raymond Terrace to make a three out of it. And it's sort of with the front end for East Mailand's been failing to do. They haven't had a lot of bowls passed for, for a few ends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well spotted. Exactly. So, you, as you picked up, Josh is playing through the jack a fair bit. If he misses it, he's going to a good home. If he grabs it, all well and good. Correct. 
That one's a little short. Damn. Happy, happy with what you want, mate. <laughs> My own can of Coke delivered to me. I love it. What a place to be <laughs> at uh, East Maitland. Brilliant. Are you allowed to mention that brand? Oh, yeah. I don't mind. We don't have any deals with them. <laughs> with, not with Pepsi, is it? <laughs> Hang on, that's no, Coke. It's all right. <laughs> Nathan Mitchell trying to get one in there. Oh, there's a bit of a grimace there. It was. It was a pretty intense look, wasn't it? Short. Might have made a bit too high. Oh, stop it. <laughs> wow. Yep. Andrew, I've never been so glad to make a phone call to you as what I did today. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Running in the area. Let's hit the shot ball. There he goes. Got it. Oh, good good shot. It. Very good. Yep. Nice shot out. Holding two now. That is two, yep. Look at the stickers. Even if East Mainland draws this, it's set up very well for Raymond Terrace. It is. Everything behind, nothing to, don't know. Nothing to lose in reach. There. Gonna get there. Piling a bit of pressure on Hayden. I'd be feeling it too, because they'd, they'd be looking at that eight shots down now on the on the big board. Mm. Yep. And they're looking at that, thinking. Jeez, we're pretty even here. I wouldn't mind kicking away a bit because you're right, uh, Leash Rain is coming back over there. 10 5 now after 10. 13 yeah. 2 on the far rink after 8. Only so much this TV rink can do, but you, you've got to hope that your far rink will sort of pick the game up a little bit. But it's the same, it's the same story for them as it was for Schreiner. They just got to start scoring. Yeah, correct. You know, like. Yeah. We're all experienced enough to know that if we are well down on a rink, and it happens quite often, <laughs> you just got to stop the bleeding, start scoring, makes a big difference. Yep. <coughs> Ian doesn't want to run into that one. Yeah, he's going to. Oh, oh goodness. Another one. another one in there. This is getting ugly. Three and a half. Yeah, big multiple there. He's uh, pretty excited about that. <laughs> he's an excitable character. <laughs> yeah, well, he's all dancing down the green. He's an excitable character, Ben Hill. Yeah, that's good width, I reckon. He's close here. Just got to get over that blue line and keep turning. Yep, good shot. All sorts of pressure on Hayden now. Wowee. This may be the move that Raymond Jets make. Seminal moment in this game, you'd say. See Barry McGovern refueling at the back of the rink there, Andrew. You might want that for your uh, group chat later. <laughs> right, oh, huge ball in the context of the game here from Hayden. Is that yeah, it's positive. Uh, he's got a draw, to draw line. He likes it. He's skipping. He's a fraction heavy. Isn't he? I think he's just going to he's hold. He's just got to miss. If he gets he's that piece and flops, on the wrong uh, way. He's got the wrong side of it. Four, four, four anyway. Four down, I reckon. Three. Well, it'll be three. Ties, ties might be next in. Mm. Yeah, we'll look at it. Four. 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 Four, four is. Shots are in the terrace. Kick out there, 12 shot lead on the big board. Yep, that's a big, big kick that one. And from, uh, from experience, you don't want that to get much further. No. Rumor very good front runners. Very good front runners, yeah. 6 12 here after 10. I don't know why they're good front runners, because it's not very often they get behind. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but yeah, they know, um, they know how to win. 
be a long time since they've had a touch up like that at home last week. It was only the one ring. I know it was only one, one ring, ring, but still. Yeah, you're right. It was a long time since they've had a shot one. 30 shots on the master beer. Well, they, can thank, they can thank Simon Little for that mm. from Tarrant Point because he fired the Engadine boys up on the podcast. I'm just pretty <laughs> sure that they were pretty pretty confident they were listening to a pre game. Yeah. And uh, that's a, that's but good, it was big gun. Um, big Cohen Litfin did the damage. Yeah, and, he did. You know, I hadn't heard much about Cohen until he came down and played in our pennant last year with Soldiers. Absolute quality. So he's. Hadn't heard much from him. No. Didn't he get beaten in Australian Open pairs two years ago? I, only, I stopped following that once you're right, mate, and that's usually pretty early. So <laughs> <laughs> You may lead with the chin, Andrew, but it's not made of glass, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot there from Daniel Hooker. Great shot, JK! Is there live scores from the other games at the minute, Benny? That you're checking oh, out? I was just actually, I hadn't thought of doing that. Actually, I was just looking at the uh, over the cards on what happened last week to uh, the Lee Schreiner rink. It was a, a monster. They didn't win a win an end from uh, end 10 to, well, they won the last end by three, so mm. 10 to 21, so Jeez. near 11 ends. Yeah, and they're in front 10 9 at that point. Yep. Daniel Hooker. Two good scores. Scored again to the last end. I'll tell you what, that's, not, that's what you want from your lead after just dropping a count. People are looking for every angle to yeah, view this yeah, game from, aren't they? Spectators up the top of the car park. They don't know what they're missing out on, but by not listening to us at home. <laughs> <laughs> I think they can put it on their phones well, and stand there and might, get the best might, of both worlds. up there watching I just hope they're not actually, I hope the sound's not on inside because we might not get out of here. <laughs> the gates out, open to the car park. My car's out there. No, keep an eye out. That. <laughs> a bit loose here from Raymond Terrace. Yeah, Billy's got one by one. Jack Green's been aggressive. So live scores on one of these rinks. So the Nathan Wise versus Raymond Ooh. Pierce. Yeah. That's um, 26-7 on one rink at the Ooh. moment. And that's um, Tarrant Point versus Mount Lewis. Mount Lewis have won two ends of three. Oh, oh, my goodness. That's Razor skipping. Razor, Razor skipping, yep. Yeah, well, so they're going to miss that. So Razor's got a couple of games out, I think. Yeah, he's, he's got, got, over to, the got to go over to the yeah. World, World Cup. Ring next door, uh, Mount Lewis Lions <laughs> are winning Brit Spur versus Dave Axon. Axe is down uh, 19-8, so Mount Lewis are winning. They made that. a change on that rink, too, so they did they switch the middle two around. Yeah. Thanks for that. That'll be good on the podcast. And Scotty T up 22-8. I think Tarrant Point's still winning the master board, but uh, that's another... Wouldn't be by many, but... Wouldn't yeah, be by many. many. Nice. Two, no. big, two big downs there. Yeah, wow. That was a... Um, just while we're looking at that, so that was a top shot from Brendan Stokes there. Mm. Yeah, well, at least Peace Maitland's got a, a bowl behind now, mm. so he can afford to give it a chance to trail a jack. So he's having a look here. He's close to the jack. He's got it. He's played a cracker. Oh, Very good. Didn't go too far, did it? He might be. There's a jack, there's a jack high bowl there. I give us an inclination. Oh, yep, left, right, over the top. Oh, yeah. Terrace, I think they've, still, they've got shot. We're going to the Cohen Lipfin, the uh, hero from last week. Is uh, down at the moment. Darren teases rink, seventeen six. The other two rinks are very close. Yeah, playing Barilla on their own, own, own carpet would be it. very hard to beat. Although Bell they Ro- have had a game there. Melrose St John's. That's very close. Fisher Baker. So this is all being live scored on the phones. Seven four next door. That's pretty close again. So. Nothing big happening there. They are very close, Bellrose and St John's right now. And it's Scott's close here. If you can get under Josh Bells. Mm, it's just crashing. Just, yeah. Not a bad one to run into, though. Did you say Raymond Terrace signal that they were holding one? Yeah, Matty, yes. Finger. There you go, Landon for three's the call. Back, Hunt. So, when he leagues in Cabra, the other two of them are six and seven. Six, uh, seven, six on boat on two rinks. Yeah, and the third rink is uh, Aaron Wilson's beating Brett Wilkie's team, uh, 12-4. So Cabra just up there. Mm. 
Lions. It'll be Wiz's first game, I think, this this weekend. I think um, Matty Lucas played for him last mm -hmm. week. Maryland seem to be dominating pretty much, oh, except for one rink, Ryan Burnett's rink. Kevin Anderson, 14-4 uh, on that one, and the other two are um, going to the... Ryan Burnett over, over Tomo. Yep. And then we're just up to this one. So pretty close around. Jump on the results portal, results.bowlslink.com.au. Navigate your way to Bowls New South Wales and then Platinum Pennant, and uh, the live scores will be available for you on there if you just click around and find them. You need to get the big board live there on each one, Benny, not one of these I know. card men. I know, actually, we brought that's that up. Ne that's for your next Bulls Link meeting, Billy. We took that to Bulls Australia on the 10th. They yep. came up for a... They had a meeting in there and uh, some training in the office, and thanks to Aaron and, and Jess for doing that for us. Um, sadly, I couldn't be there because I was streaming, but uh, they, uh, they came up and got some feedback, and that's one of them. They haven't um, updated the score on the middle of the rink, but it was Raymond Terrace that got at least one shot last end. So Schreiner's still on the comeback trail. And like I said, I didn't see anyone signal what was going on. They haven't updated the board, but Speedy was not happy with his last one. So. <laughs> uh, Rich is saying anyone to think this is a Jets home game. I've said before, all the, all, most of the Raymond Terrace Jets um, fans are sitting outside, and mm. most of the Griffins are actually inside, so mm. it uh, sounds like a Jets home game. Yeah. Mosquitoes around here, lads. Yeah, man, don't worry, I'm feeling them. <laughs> I'm, looking at, I'm looking at you guys with the long pants singing, this was an idea. <laughs> First time I've worn long pants in a while, you just wear shorts to work. One of the advantages of working, <laughs> working in bowls. Bow sheet. Just gotta run just that a little, little bit. Oh. Want that? Oh, he's one mm. down now. Yeah, I think that's the one he didn't want. He'd rather he played it though than Hayden because yeah. he had no chance for three there. He's no. He's a little bit riskier on that hand now. I think he might. Hayden might go back the other side. There's only a single shot on the middle ring. There's just updated the scoreboard. Yep, ten six. Look at all the all four Raymond Terrace guys all standing exactly the same pose. Look, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. standing there with one arm across. Look at him there no, on the screen. Le no, Lennon, yeah. Lennon's, yeah. Lennon's, Lennon's got the wrong, got wrong arm. Lennon's the wrong arm. Yeah. Yeah. Swap it over, Lennon. Sort of there. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's going to eat his rag. <laughs> I can't believe this is standing there like that. That's great. Get a photo about him. Try and Back on the forehand. Just trying to find a, a hole, I suppose. Or do you look to turn ties up, maybe? Yeah, do you have to flick back over? He's got to pick this little gap. Uh, Nathan Mitchell's. Him coming across. Just not enough. I'll be one to East Midland. It'll stop the bleeding a bit. Yep. Well, it's good. They wouldn't want one of the Jets to console that before, just even with no. another single. Get two in a row. Get one back. They need to. 14 behind on the big board. Mm. Most of the damage ha happened over there with Peter Taylor. Just mean they seem to be going pretty slow. Not really. Only one, one in behind. It's only just, just maybe it's because I keep looking at their scoreboard. It's not updating all that often, but... Yeah, a couple of ends. Peace, mate. We're looking to short, short in the end right up now. Yeah, very good. Good thinking. Go. 
Let's see what a short end does to the Roman Terrace Jets game. He's done it pretty short. He's just, he's not, he's only a couple of metres past the uh, 21 metre mark. Leroy with another. And yeah, party time here on the sidelines. Yeah, Jets crowd getting with Ogle. Getting behind their team as they should. Draw the city. <laughs> Crossing tomorrow, David, tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, what's happening on the fly one? Everyone's coming up to have a look. He's turned back to have a look at something back there. I'm not sure that he boards over to the left. Ooh. Peter Taylor with a rest and toucher. That's why he's having a look. Oh, yeah, those bright orange balls. Mm. Looks like Leroy might be trying to draw for three over here. Good ball by Josh Bell. Snuck around, got a clean right. Trail, trail, it. trail it to his other ball. Which is very good. And as we said, he continues with that little touch. Yeah, well, Hooky's got one. Got one that couple of feet behind now. It's, it's workable. Tie with good speed. That's why I know Jake Green, right? I'll have to see about that later on. There's a Rodney Darcy rolling one out on that far rink. I'll look for a measure for another. It'll be at least 15 2. Mm. <laughs> Three shots. Four rink. Seven, Three Seventeen shots. to two. That's big over there, isn't it? Yeah, they're gonna start pulling their finger out, trying to give the other two rinks a hand. No, that's exactly right. At some point, you go, "Well, I'm not going to win this rink. Mm. But I need to get scores on that board." Let's go start scoring. That's going to make a big difference to the big board. Inside edge. Good. Good ball there by Nathan. Mm-hmm. Makes a big difference to the head. He's them go the back ones too. really changed the look and the complex of the feel of this game. The, the crowd went up and, ra and around, but they mm, up and down. We'll, we'll see if this crosses and moves that out, it'll be happy. Piece of that. Yep, good shot. For one. I'm going to be tempted to go for the one. Yeah. Get him off clean or just draw it around the corner. Yeah. He's having a look. Marty's given him I'm just giving the option. This. Can't tell how much I'm enjoying uh, the look on Nathan Mitchell's face. Because we have this footage, I've got to see if we can do a montage of every face after he delivers a ball. It's so good. Could be those shorts riding again. You bet your tongue for long enough, and you couldn't help yourself, could you? Lennon Scott. Well, he's moved Jack. He's gone to Nathan, yeah. yeah he, might be for, he might have gone from one down to two, two or three down. Mm. Ties is in the equation there, too. Well, we. Not quite the uh, conversion he was looking for. No.
Hayden with a he just wants to draw I guess he doesn't there's nothing to move he just needs to be up and in the count without creating a shoulder or or a, a ledge is uh, he's not quite out enough score. but if he speeds good he can get him for second shot yeah, he's just got to get down to where his other ball side doesn't he yeah. there he is should be yeah, good enough second shot Bow sheet fair line out of his hand yeah, I thought it looked pacey yeah. it's quick uh, the boys didn't like it. They, they get down pretty quick when they like it, the Roman Terrace boys, and they didn't move. <laughs> Sider with his first one. I'd, be, I'd back yeah. him in with his second. But. Lisa, he's uh, Hayden's bum really getting into it here. Come on, son, she's saying. He just he's needs, a, needs a bit of help. He's finally got some. Well, he got a... He gave oh. that bit of width, I think. Doesn't make it any Another easier way. for Marty. Another way, but I don't know if it does it count. It's hard to tell. Even looking up on the, having a look live. Yeah, I think he'd be happy for second yeah. shot. Here. Yeah. He's off after it. Decent height again. Needs to miss that Hayden one. Yeah, Needs to miss it. Going to get a feather and oh. slow down, is he, or is he no. going to run? Keep going, yeah. it's just kept running on. Well, there you go, East Midland with a comeback here. Three out. He wants more, Nathan. You always want more. His tie, his tie on the scorecard over there on his phone, or is he just texting everyone? Oh, he just sent me a message. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, it looks like four. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only problem with that. I found that a couple of years ago, we had the, the over 40s. We had a live stream game where we were using the electronic four, four. scorecards on our phone. As you're putting the, the score in, you're getting messages from yeah, your, your mates on Messenger, yeah. sending, sending photos ding, 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 of ding, ding, sending yeah. photos of you on the widescreen, saying, "Geez, you come up big." Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hang on, I'm oh trying to play dear. a game of bowls here, boys. Oh dear. Oh, Ben's had a glitch with the computer. Oh, I had. It's gone for the factory reset, has the, it? Oh, the <laughs> wonderful. Uh, we've got a new I, uh, IT supplier, Sony EIT Solutions, and mm. uh, they were the ones that gave the, did the giveaway uh, during the state pennants, TVs, and all that. And, uh, They've just decided to reboot my computer. <laughs> oh, lovely. That's all right. It's no big deal. They didn't do the giveaway too well. I went home and be handed. Yeah, poor man. <laughs> Actually, the winners showed up on the uh, live stream last week. Did they? Yeah, they, but, uh, we haven't had a uh, release on it yet because we're still trying to get in contact with one. <laughs> one reply <laughs> to the messages. But uh, Don't want a TV enough, do they? Yeah, that's right. Is it in the car at the minute, Ben? <laughs> like get to replace this wide, wide screen in front of us would be good <laughs> I think uh, it would be overkill the, what was it, a 65 inch TV or something like that that's a, yeah. that's a big TV looking just that little bit short with his first giving Josh a bit of room but Josh looks like he's a bit runny mm. well with a four it proves that the uh, short ends work yeah just the update about two. Those other two rinks aren't up to date on the TV screen. It is actually 10-8 to Walker Davis over Leroy. And yeah, and 17-2. So 17-2 in the far rink to half Peter the ten, Taylor. Half the ten. Ten they've, been, they've been on 10, that middle rink, for a fair while, by the way. Yeah, another good bowl there by yeah, David Walker. Good. And shorts down. Response. A fair bit to correct on his first one. He's looking at it keenly. He's not far away. It's going to be a good second if good it doesn't second. get a shot. Yeah, good second. Andy. Ball's over. It's close to shot. Very good. It's, yeah, it's not quite the shot. And we've got a very good view of it from here. And it's, yeah, probably about three inches uh, difference at the moment there. Just watching the production team of Sadis here, Benny. Yeah. They put Andrew Lynn to shame. <laughs> <laughs> this is an incredible setup over here. <laughs> the only thing they're missing is the big tub of lollies. 
Nice. So that'll do, Rex. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going when you said big tub. The, uh, <laughs> oh, <I'm> careful. <laughs> yeah, the, yo- the yogurt tub. It's not past yeah. 8 o'clock yet. I'm we went, actually, we've got to sort that out for next week. Shot Andrew, here. Listening. Junior's next week. Still holding one. Oh, the, uh, the Griffins. Anyone wondering who Andrew Lynn is and haven't met him? He's the uh, sports coordinator at uh, Bowls New South Wales and a very famous man, one of the most knowledgeable men in Bowls. He's, he's been around for enough. Yeah, 28 years in, for, for, um, <laughs> Bowl, for the Royal and then Bowls New South Wales. Oh, he's been right. He's been around oh, it enough. Oh. Said, do, do you need a translator? Sorry. <laughs> Brandon Stokes with another good one after his first. He's got to piss the jack this time. Good shot, straight to Josh yeah. Bell. Very good. Little front da- front down one two. Chucky on the forearm. So he'd be wanting to try and get down to that split. Crack the jacket to the side towards Ty. Just hasn't Ooh. got the speed. Yeah. Another one in there. Another one in there. All round, aren't they? Gives Hayden something to work with. <laughs> Leroy scored again on the middle ring, boys. Ten eight now after twelve. Yeah, but that was that was the last score. Yeah. 13 is played now. Raymond Terrace got a two on the far rink as well. That's now 19 to two. Well, Jesus. It's rough over there on that third rink. That's the one that's uh, uh, interesting me. We've had two fours, one for each team on this, this end, which has kept it close once again. 11-12 here. 10-8 next door, which is very close. And that far rink, you know, 16, 17 shots between them. Nathan's just sat a bit wide there, but that's no, probably a, plan B, isn't it? It's a handy bowl there. Plan B. Eventually, I think Hayden's going to switch over to the backhand and try and play through that bowl of Brendan's. Oh, Brendan, thanks, mate. I appreciate that, but uh, we're just different. Not better. <laughs> Interesting. Flop. Oh, something's got to give in there, doesn't it? Uh, yep, that's yeah. one lonely there's, Raymond Terrace ball in there. There's two ways he can play. He can play down through Brennan's ring and play through Ty's bowl that got turned over and try and jam the jack onto the bowl. But if he plays for Brendan's widest one, there's a cannon on there to get the ball out of there, Clint. You get two chances yep. down there through yep. both of them. Yep, correct. My uh, partner in crime over, over in Dubbo and Bowls Australia CSM, Jason Pinnock, saying go Tails because he knows how much um, Peter Taylor loves being called Tails. He's going for the forearm, man. What do we know? Here we go. Yeah, he's high. <coughs> and wide. He's just trying to run for cover. Ooh, he's brought that target a bit there now. He has. You can go a little bit, bit more solid. He's got the one right at the back. Did he change it over? No, he's still no, on he's four. still on four ends. I think he'll go more solid. Yeah, probably oh, more he hasn't gone. That's a bit more than the last one, isn't it? Yeah, it's over the last one. An hour or two. Ooh, no. Still. Oh. How far back did he go? That's the question. Still one to uh, Raymond Terrace. Yeah, the Griffins didn't look too happy with the result there. Hung. Palms to the sky. Yeah, we didn't get the luck. That one lonely ball in there. He'd be wishing he had another ball. Yes, a lot, of the, wrong. a lot of the time we do, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Male model from McLean. Watching from the couch. Thanks, Kyle Langley. Another former colleague of mine. <laughs> Good old Kyle. Only place trying to draw for two, just slightly over. 
Oh, and then those random bursts of laughter from Benny are coming from the Facebook comments. Yeah, yeah, I'm just watching these. Good, you guys are doing very well. I love the band for the feedback. Yeah. But yeah, Cole Langley, uh, Jason Pinnock, and I were all Bowls Australia uh, RBMs at one point, and uh, that's where the, it was Cole Langley that came up with the male model from McLean Triple M. <laughs> sorry, McLean, isn't it? McLean, sorry. Triple M. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kyle's, so Kyle's doing well for himself now. He's um, coordinator at the entrance. He is. He's build, mm-hmm. building a new cover like the structure we got here. Everybody's, on the, on everybody's done well to go out of curry, didn't they? <laughs> even you, even you, Andrew. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Oh, oh come on. I'm just, no, I'm no just no glad comment. Kyle stuck with the game. I'm very happy that Kyle stuck with the game. He's an yeah, asset to it. He, so he, good he, uh, he was a bit, a bit disheartened <laughs> for a while. I don't think he was quite mm. sure what he was going to do, but... Is the, Shippo uh, watching? It's a good question. I assume he is. He was um, going to join us tonight, Kyle, but he uh, had to run off and deal with some uh, family stuff. I, I don't think Shippo would be watching. If he was, he wouldn't be able to hold back making some comments. <laughs> He'd be complaining that um, Raymond Terrace out here and not sold his point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the music's on. Oh, the the Band, door. band's on. The door opened up when we got some background music there. Yeah, that's because every time when they open the door... <laughs> Rocking it off there. Yeah, something's going off in there. Party time here at uh, East Maitland. I want to start scoring on the rink. So they will. 41 to 23. Hurry, mate. Hurry, Billy. <laughs> Andrew's, Andrew's just been Sorry. caught out watching the uh, watching the Facebook feed. <laughs> That's why the bit of paper sticks on it, mate. At least I didn't make any comment. That's no, right. No. No, I've done that so often. I, I looked up and I thought, "That's not what's coming down here." Do you know, Daniel's yeah. going to want a correction here. Yeah, he's a bit under again. So Forty-one to twenty-three on the big board. It's getting away in it. Mm. Yeah. Send. Big difference. It was tight early on when the middle rink was blown out for East Midland. Far rink was blown out for Raymond Terrace, but Leroy started scoring again in the middle. Yeah, it's a game of two halves, but it's just hitting the second half of it now. Exactly right. Yeah, I was about to say that. It's still, still nearly 30 ends to go. Well, 17 ends to go. Plenty of time to make, make a change. Turn it around. They need to start soon. They do. Just need that little one result on the, on the, the rink to give them that little momentum shift. We well, do see that Raymond Terrace has got the got the um, mat back and went immediately T to T to T again. Yeah, and just giving them the back that advantage. They, they do play that very well. So that's, what, that's what they do. That's why a lot of the time the teams they play against they have to end up shorting it up. And they just excel at that T to T link. That's through, well through. How often do you play a game, whether it be singles or otherwise, and you're playing short to three quarter, and as soon as there's a change, T to T, and it just changes the game completely. Oh, completely. The, uh, even a change of a couple of metres can really affect it. Some, you know, some players, now I, I do it in singles, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a great singles player by any means. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can really feel the change when I when I play a really short end. Peter, Peter Taylor. Taylor just had a murder of the jack. Yep, East Mill were actually looking okay over there. Tony Wicks had played two crackers. At least he was trying to help Jake Ren out. Still, my favourite sound in the world is a heavy shot into a tight head crack. <laughs> Great sound. And then the, the jack springing and hitting the window. Lennon Scott. <laughs> crack and Lennon Scott. <laughs> Was it? Maddie mm, hit, hit that pretty well. That is, mm. and there's no East Midland balls behind it, Jack. Could be five there. Again, that's the, something you noticed earlier. Yeah, it comes with them stretching the, the, the Jack out again. Mm. So they were playing a short length and they were more comfortable. And as soon as they went back to that two to two, they just struggled to get those to get balls past. Finish. Not going to run away. Tip a couple out anyway. Stop the sting a bit. Under that, mate. Touch it, dude. Let him play something similar to his last. It'll be going well. Sorry, 
intense look, isn't it? Someone should really run a hat out to Ian Lean. There's a bit of shine off the top of that bont. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice leaning out there. I knew he was coming. Save them feet. <laughs> He's a big dude, yeah, I love it. It's sort of like the throws the shoes away and wears the boxes. Mm. Look at that face again. Look yeah, at him. Nathan. <laughs> Intense. He likes it. He's a better line than his last one. Clear road. Clear road. That's a stop. Still look good. It's a big help. Yeah, it's a big help. Yeah, that's a big ball and a big correction. He's done that very, very well. Very handy. Helps his skipper out. Was that a TP or a wigwam, Dave? Said he was intense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. We're resorting to puns here, ladies and gentlemen. That's, a, that's what it's. That's what we've come down ladies to. and gentlemen, Andrew Douglas <laughs> Reese. Tell him my middle name. I don't get middle name when I'm in trouble. <laughs> Which is regularly. Only because you stick your nose where it shouldn't be most of the time. Would I do that? Yeah. Would I do that? <laughs> Oh, look at this. That's on a great track. Another shot. cracker here. Yeah, one yeah, one Brilliant. Brilliant. Three shots. Still a chance for him down there on the backhand. Draw a touch or make two. Yeah, I'm going to leave this with you for a sec. I'm just going to. I know I had a guest commentator lined up, so I'm just going to go and find him. You got it for a tick. No naughty words. <laughs> no guarantees. No. Yeah. We've been good so far. We're good effort from Hayden. I don't know, a bit further than I thought, actually. I was sure he was going to get to there. Bit of Elvis playing inside there, mate, by the sounds of it. <laughs> Break out the song, mate. Hey, Bryce, on the forehand. Look at something very similar to his last. Trotting after it. He must like it. Oh, the boys are looking. Yeah, speed's pretty good, I think. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, he's plugged that gap up. Oh. No touch. Don't be greedy. <laughs> pretty good. You think Hayden would be giving his bowl a chance down the back end there? How much of his ball can he see and what's the cannons doing? Yeah. He's only got the one ball behind the head. Well, he's got the ball just short of the head there. Well, if he does happen up. to get that whole group out. Well, love you shows us how you can see a full ball. <laughs> so, have a go. Just got a guest commentator in from uh, the East Midland Griffins. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Talia Kennedy. I'm from East Midland Griffins, but originally from Zodine. Very good, Talia. What brought you up here? Um, I wanted to see the game. I love being here. The atmosphere is so great. Yeah. I play tomorrow and play on Sunday. So. Nice. That's in the Open Gender Penance. Yes. Zone 2. Very good. You heading down to the Junior Championships in a couple of weeks? Yes, I am. So we drive down on Sunday and we're there till Friday. Nice. Young Colby's floating around too, isn't he? Yes, he's doing the scoreboard with Albie. Yeah, oh, with Albie. Oh, that's yeah. dangerous. <laughs> Hope Albie's not doing the math. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Hayden's going to be backhand pretty attacking here. Look at his ball. Try and get a couple out at least. Yeah, that's the plan. Away. Oh, what's going to happen here, but no, nope, straight through. So it will be another four. Yep. What do you made of the game so far? Um, I think it's pretty, really, pretty good. Tight heads, just unlucky results. Mm. Great, great consistency throughout all the rinks, really. And the atmosphere is great. There's a good crowd in the night. Yeah. And the food's really good. The food's really good. <laughs> Take your word for it. I'm not a fan of food at all. Oh, thank goodness there's no webcam on the actual commentary box. Hey, Andre. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What's happened on the fire rinks? 
11-9 on that middle rink still to East Maitland. 19-2 on the far one. on the far rink. That's the one that's got to make the difference. They need yep. to start scoring. Definitely. It's blown out to 20 shots now. So zone nine, Tally, where's that? Um, North North Sydney, pretty much. Mm. So it's from yeah, okay. about Mossman up to the Northern Beaches, sort of thing. Yep. Is it? Yeah. Yep. So you started playing down there, did you? Yes, I did. Yep. What club were you at? Pitwater. Pitwater. I moved up here to Newcastle, Maitland area. Um, I'm still living down there. Oh, okay. So me and my family, we commute every Friday. Sometimes I'll get the train up. She's just dedication. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's a pretty good battle between the leads right now on this live stream rink. It has been. I'm going to give it to... to Joshy Bell, yeah, but when he's been missing, he's been yeah, missing in good mark. areas. Yeah, he doesn't miss too. He doesn't miss short too often. He's uh, been getting those balls consistently just past. If he hasn't been all over the jack, Daniel's been a little bit the other way. He's been with the jack high or, or a little bit too short. Trying to consolidate the position here. Trying to beat that wide one of Josh's. Not looking too bad. That's nice, pretty good. Hayden's getting excited. Yeah, it's good pretty shot. good speed. By what he wanted. Second shot. Stokes well played. Yeah, the piece of the Just bounced oh, the wrong way. Just unlucky there at the end. Still a bit short. What better looking now? Hayden. Hayden's calling for one around the back, running for cover. I think Raymond Terrace will be looking to sit the ball, but if the jack does happen to get knocked, hopefully Ty's going to put one in here for position. Pretty handy area there. Mm. He'll be playing four handy with that little bit, trying to trying to get down. He should just get underneath. Should, yeah, he should miss. If he does get a piece of the jack, he shouldn't move it all the way back to that bowl. He's got that wall to work off too. Yeah. Could even straighten up if he is a bit narrow. Could straighten up off that other white one. Yeah. Get the wick, as they say, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> The wiki woo is such a say. Holy such. <laughs> so tell your aspirations. What do you want to achieve in the game? Um, I'd love to be able to represent anything and everything that I can. Mm. Probably create more connections and more friendships as I go through my career. It's really, really good being able to have the freedom of seeing people from all around New South Wales. Oh, it's a great ball there. Great shot. Ball. Great shot. You're right, it's a very social game, isn't it? Yeah. So how long have you been playing now? Uh, I just reached my two-year mark. Nice. So hopefully a good showing down at Warilla this week. Try yes. and get in, try and get in New South Wales set up if you can, or at least get, your, get seen. Yeah, I went over to Nationals last year, and I think this year the competition's going to be so much more harder, especially mm. just for State. There's, yeah. I think, 90, around 90, 99 yeah. people going. Yeah. So it'll be really, really good. Great atmosphere again. Yeah. Uh, 
plans are going up the Australian Open or anything like that this year as well? Or? Yes, so I've put my name down for the under-18 events, women's singles and women's pairs. Nice. Yeah, very good. Is there a mixed pairs up there? Are you looking for a partner, are you? You can do better than me. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, I think there's a, uh, it's a separate event, the mixed pairs, they run up there. It's not actually, it's not actually run. Nathan it's Mitchell. Nathan Mitchell. He's got it. Great. Oh. There he is. Four, four, down, four down to three up. There is a lot of good little tournaments and that that run around the same time. At, at the end of the um, Australian Open, there's um, at Mudry Bar, they have a one bowl of fours. That's, a, that's, that's an interesting that's game. That's an that. interesting game. Yeah. We used to do that a bit of, as a bit of a training exercise yeah, now again. It's, it's good fun, actually. Yeah, get you dialed in. Play some like five games of ten ends. Mm. <laughs> Just looking across the far ring again there, Andrew. And Ray Materis have scored again. 20 to 20 two. Two. So there's 21, 22 in the big board. That's where all the difference is. So why East Maitland, Talia? Um, <laughs> there's a really great junior program here uh, in the zone itself. Um, I've got one of my good mates, Kobe, who has also recently moved here from... Yep, Greta. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And just love the colours of the club, really. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Yeah, Maitland City's got some new colours too. Yes, we do. We'll be launching some new colours for the new season. <laughs> it's an absolute mission at the minute, trying to get everyone sized up for that, but a yeah, bit of a rebrand. Yeah, she's got that. Takes a lot of the pain out. Mm. Well, he really particularly wanted that glance, but it's worked out not too bad because he's tucked yeah. them in. Even the, even the cat in there, if he can turn it, it's probably going to lock on the back bowl as well. language isn't, isn't uh, real positive. It's a similar across the green for East Midland. Actually, you can definitely tell which team's up. So we walk, anybody just walked in and looked at the players, you could probably tell. They're all still finding really, really good ways to communicate throughout their team, though. Mm. I think that, that's what makes them a pretty good side, the ability to communicate consistently throughout the whole game. Start from Josh. <laughs> Ben's just tried to get his headset back, and Talia has told him where to go. No way. No. <laughs> It's not often you get to sit next to a legend like Andrew Ray Smith. She's going to take that opportunity. So she is. Yeah, she just said Andrew who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just impressed. She hasn't asked me to repeat myself. It's right. <laughs> louder in the headset, mate. Yeah. So you'd understand. Pardon, what was that? 
I'm not the Irish one. <laughs> There's not many don't pick on you, is there? No, no. I don't know the girl, she's into me. <laughs> ah, it's alright. I am just a little bit gravelly after having the spicy cough after Dubbo. <laughs> no reasonable sort of track here, Brendan. I think he's got the run on. No. Bit of a loose one here, considering what we've had previously. Yeah. Smash the line. Where are you playing in this weekend? Uh, I play in the fours. Fours. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Ben's just laid the challenge down. Bring it on. Andrew just texted me that actually he's playing at uh, my old stomping ground tomorrow, Albion Park. So he is. It's another one over the far ring. Oh. He's smelling the You know you got an easy win there then anyway. <laughs> Not too bad again here. Just wants to run Just a little get bit. Down that little bit Good. into the well. Slacking that meter running. Andrew, the one that's starting scoring, or you'll have fun on your grip chart later tonight. Nah, it's not generally me, mate. I don't generally get a chance. Matt Johnston? Matt Johnston absolutely gives it to everybody. Yeah, he doesn't discriminate. No, no, no. He doesn't discriminate. It's one thing, he's fair. That's uh, not the one that Lana wanted to run into. Josh having a chuckle with that two. one. <laughs> yeah, I thought it flopped back and didn't count, but according to Hayden, it does. I'm going to trust Hayden's opinion this time. Yeah, I'm going to so yes. at the head. So. I don't want to be disrespectful, but yeah. <laughs> First for him. Traffic. Good try. Good one around the bounce. Anything interesting in the comments there, Talia? Um, That's fair. Because you skipped out of commentary. Yeah, the, num the number spiked. The number <laughs> spiked. <laughs> and then an on the trot in the replay. Tell you what I thought of that shot, but um, I don't need to be Got a loose one here. going to play? I don't know. I'd will he look, can he get the two balls? Will he look for the jack or two balls? A chance on the forehand. If he gets the yellow even, he's a chance of getting the yellow onto the two white balls. Hanging on the forearm, like you said. Nope, doesn't like it. Done, yeah. on the hands. 
Oh. Okay. Flicked the ball over at Flemings, but like the moment. Hayden sort of to cover a bit more on the backhand just past the head. Mm. I'm surprised that Bousy goes a lot firmer with his next one. I can't see or read that comment, but everyone's just palmed it off. No change. I, I, personally, I like maximum weight to the jack of the green ball. Yeah, well, maximum. I like that call from Lennon. Maximum, maximum, maximum weight. So uh, go very solid. So Wooshka. Yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say that's maximum. Not maximum for, for Bousy. He's, He's got in the vicinity. Yeah. Got to get his full. results. Oh, oh, what a shot. Yeah. That's um, plan D. But it will do. He nearly hit the ball he was asked to and that happened. Much you can do. I think I look. I don't know what Hayden's going to be looking for here. I don't know whether he's going to play through his white bowl mm. or whether he'll get down the backhand. He can't. He can't really risk it because he's the next lot of balls are all terrace. After that, you can't half that out of the head. Yeah, he's got two balls in the headbutt, hasn't he? Oh, the last one just went out, didn't it? You do. Do for a bit. Got one. That white one popped out the other side. I think Lennon's is close. And that's Josh Bell's behind. Oh, yeah, he's the other one in the head. He's the first one, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So is that your right? <laughs> is that what you said? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so okay. The, with the minimum weight he's playing here, I'd suggest that you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Won't say you're right. Say you're Nathan's watching it intently. He's just copping over. Got full. He's just too um, much. lucky. One too much. Pretty good bowl for ordinary results. Where the head shakes go on to? Pressure's getting to them. Yeah. As you said, they're going to start to make a move. But, uh, yeah, all being compressed by the results on the far rink. Peter Taylor. Peter Taylor's just drawing a front rest. He's just drawing a front rest and such yeah, a... Noser. <laughs> Thanks, man. Any time the seem to start to shape up there, he just gets one in. to get a roll on and things are looking good and then you get a quality player like Peter Taylor just say, nah, not happening. Josh Bell. Good start from Josh Bell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's gone pretty well, Josh. Hook, hook he should be trying to draw to it with a couple of feet. He's got something just behind. Yeah, he's persistent with that narrow side. Hey, he likes it. He's watching. Just going to sit out. Good luck. What's your favourite surface here at East Mill and tell you? The carpet or the grass? Um, I haven't really had an opportunity to roll up on the grass here. I've only really rolled Played up on, on the, the carpet. carpet. We were meant to play on the grass last week, but we had a washout game. Yeah, it was a bit wet last week, wasn't it? Just a bit. Mm. The grass greens run here. They run pretty well here. I played in the tournament probably a fortnight, three weeks ago. And um, they were a little bit slow. One of the greens was just coming back in, but they were true enough. But you can't really beat something like this. You can play on rain, hail or shine, then it's a good surface. He hasn't got the shot, but he's put two good catchers in there. Yeah, it's one thing they've been lacking a bit throughout the game. Oh, 
25 hands played, 25 shots of difference. Rest one of the white it's balls. Resting. Yep. It's handy. Can't ask for too much better. Just give you a bowl that little bit of a chance. Playing a narrow side. And he's just going to get away, I think. Jake Rins just had a drive one down and yeah. made it three down. Terrible result. Things aren't going your way. They're nah. just not going your way. Yeah. I'll make that 24 to 2. That's a 14 ends. Speed shot, good, bro. The middle rink after the eight eight one start to, to speed, he's back mm. pretty tight now. And he was down again there, he's just killed the end. Hey okay, turnbull. Holding in pretty well here when you get down enough. Just got that little bit of a hold on that side, doesn't it? Good effort, it was good speed. Mm. It's just a fine line on that narrow side. Green's been pretty consistent the whole night. Mm. It's nice to see. You're not really a breath of wind either, so there's no, nothing. Um, Blowing underneath, making that wide hand that little bit wider. Yeah. Nathan been instructed to give his bowl a little chance. The two catches just behind the head. And he's probably got close to ditch weight here. It's a piece, piece of, of, of the jack. Yeah, two, pieces, two pieces of the jack and we've got Ty's tie got out wide. Yeah. It'll be a hard one to beat that one. Okay. Is it Josh Bell toucher an option? Uh, eventually it may be. Then I'll probably just try to play a sit and stay type thing on ties. Just dropping in. Stay in his place. Get a little bit under. Yeah, we want to stay on the green now. Uh, oh, try that. Good try. Chucky. Griffins are holding too. Looking to add to that. It's a bit under for that hand. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the head's it's down. Look at that. Yeah, it's short and narrow. Other than that, pretty good. Correct. Troy Burton's just drawing a couple of crackers over in the middle ring. A couple with a foot. bit, I think. Mm -hmm. Leaves a bit of room of Hayden to draw another shot. He will. Yeah, he definitely will. does. He'll be certainly wanting to try and capitalise on that. Is he there? Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's got any more than Bouncy. Still one ball each for each of them. Mm -hmm. Has Bosey looked at that toucher at all recently, or is he still just going over for the draw? Do you think? Yeah, I don't think he has. I suppose it's risky if he gets, gets Brandon's. Oh dear, Talia's broke the computer. I've not broken the computer. <laughs> I haven't touched the computer. <laughs> Sorry. If 
Ben comes back, we'll say it was Andrew. Yeah. It's always my fault. <laughs> Did you mean Andrew Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> Still going to pull up here. I think he's there again. Of, uh, nice chance here to make it three for Hayden. A couple of very unbouncy like balls there. <laughs> Hayden's only really going to add two feet to count. Jeez, that, uh, that far rink just stands out, doesn't it? Bit of a uh, momentum killer. Just haven't got going. Hayden's just got to start stopping. And he's a fraction quick. Just finished Jack High. Jack High. <laughs> Correct. Two shots to the Griffins. Two shots to the Griffins. So 1913, yeah. 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 Middle, middle ring looks up and down for, for shot. Tight head in the middle ring. Yeah, very much so. Little shelf of bowls there to, to sort of land there, little shoulder. It's going to have the right weight to it, which Stokes is trying hard. They haven't been doing them any favours at all. What do you think they said in that team chat, Talia? You're from the club. From all these players, what do you reckon was said? Um, Get close or else. I asked uh, Talia, you stay out of a second. <laughs> I was going to ask your opinion after. I know you'd be. <laughs> Probably just to keep the chatter up. It's getting a little bit quieter now. I think once they get the chatter up, it'll be a little bit better. Gonna have something to chat about, but yeah, yeah that's, that's the hard a big part, thing. Can't yeah. shout at nothing. Maybe about food. The chicken cities here are really, really. Good. <laughs> I like it. I like the positivity. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Andrew, what do you think they said? It. What do you think they said, Andrew, in that chat? I don't know, but I like the call about the food. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Good start from Daniel. Yeah, if they can just get back to basics, every, everyone in the team start to do their job. Lead, leads can uh, try and get close and give, give the second and the third a, a chance to reach and get some bowls in there. What a great battle it's been between the leads throughout the whole game, mm -hmm. really. Yeah, that's a good bowl there from Hooky. Another one just passed. One on it, one behind. Good lead. Yep, yep. very solid. Jake oh, Red's running again. <laughs> Hands on heads from the third over there. So stiffly, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ty's just that little bit underneath, just like getting his bowl out. Be a yard short away. going to be in your podcast next week, DJ. You, you I'm just giving, just, you, giving nothing away yet, mate. I uh, um, haven't had anything come through after your last instalment. Any topics to talk about? Um, Sam has had a couple of things. I like just uh, email from Canada today. Canada? Yeah. yeah. Very international. Yeah. 
think you should talk about the chicken snitties around the world. Chicken snitties around the world? <laughs> yeah. I'll have to get Andrew on for that. He's an expert, as you can see. <laughs> wouldn't say around the world, but... Been to Europe, but Ben's, Ben's trying to get back at the comedy box until nah, he does. Nah, he's, he's just got, swiping him. He's got nothing. <laughs> See you. <laughs> you going to enjoy the hospitality, mate? We got this. You can go home early if you like, Ben. <laughs> got it sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuck is trying hard. Good shot. Yeah, he's got oh, a shot out great. of it too. Uh, Matt just went flying on the far rink. Ian Lean's putting a mat down. Oh. The Pierre and Terrace have scored again on that rink. Did it? Um, did that mat go into the car park? It or? very nearly did. I've seen that done a few times. I hope not. My mum's car is right behind that <laughs> rink. Is that Lennon, don't want, you don't want Jack's going in there. That's it. Lennon having a wind up here. Oh, push that out. I was disappointed here last week, actually, watching them play against Belrose. Maddie Flapper had a few runs, and there was no jacks hit, hit any cars in the car park. Nah. You can, uh, you can yeah. let them go. Yeah. Doesn't go as quick as he used to, but I've seen him go a lot harder. Hello, Andrew. What's Nathan trying to do here? Andrew, I, wish Andrew, you, I wish you'd ask me questions when, Andrew, I'm, actually, wake up, when I'm actually Andrew, looking wake up. at the time. But I say you're just trying to cover just past. He gets that foot or two just past. It'll be lovely. Yeah, He's gone right back. Yeah. That's the best back. Yeah, that's the best Lennon, backward now. Because yeah, Lennon's he's winding up. He's not looking to do that two feet away type of thing. He's pushing through. He likes this one a bit better. Yeah, he's got everything out. One to, one to Chucky, I assume. That was another two on the far ring, 26 to 2. But one for East Midland on the middle ring to make that 13 to 10. East Midland haven't even tried to speed the game up on the far ring. You were down that far, you try to get off yeah. out of the way, but two hands behind. They probably can't with how much Jake hesitates on that. That's been an experience watching that. Sure, it doesn't bother them too much when it's working. True. Shot here from Hayden. Yeah. Very handy. One down with that. And he boosts with a response. Uh, still a bit of room there for bouncing. No traffic. Back him to draw it. And he's calling for it to hold. Pretty handy. Don't that know Jack it. just seemed to run They're on there, didn't it? a long way. They planted another club in our area where the Jacks just seemed to run and run and run. Yeah. A bit like East That's not man. Wow. Looks like we've got another junior trying to take Talia's spot. But Talia's digging in for the night by the looks of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still one to East Mountain? I don't know. Just yeah, having a look. It must be tight. No. You're still talking about the head, or I am. Not Nathan's attire. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> Is that Nathan? I thought it was Anamir's. Oh, stop it! Think about it anyway, aren't they? Bit, un bit undecided. It's probably pass it over to our expert, Talia. Talia, what are you playing here? What's the shot selection? I think maybe something coming, maybe just arriving weight on that backhand. Mm -hmm. Try and push something somewhere. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, he's probably got to be careful, but it doesn't. If he gets 
it's a hard one, isn't it? He's yeah. trying to. He, he doesn't want to just take a one if he is holding one. He wants to try and get yeah. another one out of this. It's the way the big board is. They got to score something. You got to take chances when they're there. It's not really much of a chance, but he's sort of trying no, to force it. It's, it just sort of depends if he can get down. If he, he can get down, it'd be unlucky if he gets down and turns his through the hole. Yeah. It's Chucky right, at the, right at the back. Yeah, Chucky's got the fingers on it here. He might give us an indication of what's going on. Let's see what I mean. If he, if he plays too much weight and gets down up the inside, he turns his through the hole, gets him mm-hmm. and ties her out. Mm-hmm. He peels through that way and they fall down. Mm-hmm. I don't think Matty Bouse is bold. I don't Bally. Mally's is kind Yeah, I think the Jack ran that little bit too far. I would just think the Jack High one's got it, but they're really looking at it, aren't they? Yeah. For the one down. Ty said one down, did he? Yeah, yeah right. So it must be Brendan's. Brendan's bowl. The, brown, so. the brownie coloured bowl there. Yeah. Well, Hayden's calling for big wit. Checking again, just to make sure they are down. I suppose at this point in time, if he runs and gets his own out, it's not looking good on the master board anyway. No, you got that some sound, you got that. You take those chances. It's super close, like, you play down there in the back and you get a lucky Taking a lot of time to decide what they're going to do. Not slowing it down, trying to get that third drink off. Holly language doesn't flash out over there, is it? No. The crowd's walking out over here. They're going big. Big light. Oh. Nice, killed it. No, I don't think he's really impressed with the result, but uh, the fact that Jack bounced out, I think he wasn't real happy that didn't stay in the pit. But you know, that sort of speed and it launches, that can happen. Certainly. certainly can. Some, sometimes those short bowls come in handy when they bounce off the backboard. It certainly looks good when you're throwing that hard, but it's in the lap of the gods once you make a connection. I don't think it can happen. Correct. Sometimes it can do more damage than good. Peter Taylor's done it again on that far rink, mate. East Maitland were looking good. I've just looked over and that bright orange ball's on top of the jack again. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, relentless. Uh, good, good ball of Pete. He has been for a long time. Do you know him? I've struck, I him, you, struck him a few times. I've, could uh, I give you a contract and you went over there and had a chat? With <laughs> 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 no, she's going to throw a bit of money at him. <laughs> so, He's been, been around a bit, but he's a good coordinator at a few clubs. He's coordinator at the entrance, I think he was at uh, Kempsey Heights at one stage he's too. At, he's been at Austinville for a long time now, Bob. Yeah, he has been at Austinville for a while, but he he um, <coughs> he wanders wanders around a bit and plays as marquee and a few of the other pennants as well. He plays for Tweed Heads in the he has been Queensland. Tree, but has played, that, played with them for a few years now. I mean, it's, you say wander, he's been pretty solid, I reckon, the last five, six years. You know, I know he was down here at the entrance and all that, but he's, since he's went up to Olsenville, he's been there for a fair bit, I think. Let's try another one. Oh, nearly. Just got a bit of a straight now. Just dropping short again. Yeah, Billy's got nothing not to gain by giving his ball a chance yeah. here. Land, land the white ball and drag the jack through. He's in the vicinity I, too. I don't think, you think he's lacking weight a little bit. Yeah, just not enough. Yeah, it's just Jack High. Jack High underneath. No, it's, uh, it's Tizer got... You see in the background that bright orange ball on top of the jack again. <laughs> 
Kaiser really should be doing the same as what I, what I said about um, Belly. Give his bowl that little bit of a chance. If he misses and he, he gives them something behind then. Oh, that's a great effort. Good bowl. He hasn't hurt him. made a connection to the head but it hasn't gone his way again. I probably wouldn't mind too much if he got through a touch of this as well. He's certainly up and at it. Yeah, he's played the ball here. Yeah, yeah some more. Oh, yeah. Couple of shots. Brandon Stokes. See me old mate Shane Soap is online watching. Good evening, Soap. Another bloke who's left me, going on to bigger and better things. I think you've done all right for yourself personally, but <laughs> good to know where you stand. <laughs> we might have a team meeting tomorrow. <laughs> Fourteen to ten to Walker Davis. It's funny watching the seconds check their phones, isn't it? Doing the scores. Well, I think they are. Benny O, Benny o might be getting Dean McWinnie's number, but I don't know. Uh, could be checking his sports bet. Key. Not third ring. <laughs> and then Scott just going to go through the gap by the looks of it. Good speed. Not in a bad area. Oh, finished well, isn't it? on Chucky's face, he's not so sure. He pinched his line a little bit. Just a bit tight. There. Well, East Maitland side has left Hayden with a couple of shots, a little bit to work with. So you'll probably try and tidy it up a little bit. And tuck that jack in is really handy. He does tuck to try not to spit it too far over. Yeah. Be hoping to stay with it if he does tuck it. Yeah. Just on the wider side. Yes. Off this one wouldn't hurt. Real good speed. Yeah. It's going to be close to counting. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very close for three there. Smile on the mat. No something to say about that, I would say. It's starting to get down. It's pretty close. Yeah, I don't want to hold it's it up. It's short. Goes okay, doesn't he? A little bit of ability, the boy. Mm. Bowling turn, turn that white one out too. Assistant here's bowling being shot. What's he didn't think of now? Trying to get the inside half of it, punch it out the hole. Yeah, I think he probably playing. I was thinking probably back in, but he doesn't really want to hang that wide and turn, turn um, 
Lennon's balling through the head. Mm. It's probably easier to get that half on the backhand side, turn it through the hole, but he gets it neat without any jack. Laying a couple of shots. Hard by the look of it on the forehand. Don't think he has best back, but it looks to me like Brendan Stokes has best back. Go on back again. Backhand. It's going hard backhand. Wooshka. Oh. Whoa. Can we get wow. that on replay? That launched. Does do I think as it leaves his bowl vulnerable too. He's only got. Wow! Look at that jump. Jeez. Land on the other one. Yeah, it's the only one on the head. He's no. only got one bowl amongst five now. Base. Does it? Does he? Can? Does he just go? Nah. Look, draw toucher's good. We're well ahead oh. in the big board. Don't need to do anything. Oh, I think. You... Yeah, possibly. We'll find out in a second. He's That's weak. attacking. He's got weight. That's attacking. Him. Lennon's interested. See you later. Pretty close. What a shot. That's a bomb there. What a shot. It's a Five. problem sometimes when you play that sort of weight that Hayden did. It, it takes all your balls out of there. You leave that. You leave a ball vulnerable, but they're at the point. He's playing to the big board, but he's yeah, not. They're, they're, they're at the point in the game now when nah. they've sort of got to take those sort of risks. Like have off. you been booted off finally? They've been hanging around there, Talia. It was good to have you. Thank you. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed your me. commentary debut. Good luck and everything else. Thank you. Good, good luck tomorrow with penance. Thanks. Um. <laughs> I apologise. <laughs> Thanks, Talia. Thank, Thank you program. so much. And I'm back. She's awesome. Apologies, everyone. We've got Ben back. <laughs> exactly. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I was going to run through some scores from the other Greens as, uh, oh, excuse me, the other. The other games as the uh, Josh Bell pops up, pick up a five, draw a front toucher. Pretty handy. Mm. This terrace just putting the foot on the throat now. Oh, that that far ring. I think the, I think the nails are pretty much in the coffin. They just got to drive them home now. See, someone saying it's time to shake hands. Now these guys will have to play to the end. Meanwhile, Tarrant Point, Mount Lewis, the uh, Ray Pierce, Nathan Wise game not getting any better for the uh, Mount. Lewis Lions have only won four ends out of 21. That game's over. Oh, wow. 29-9. So win, uh, win by 20 shots on that ring. Lucky a couple of those were multiples to make it hit the nine. Yeah. <laughs> and lost by six on the middle rink. So Mount Lewis Lions are uh, win by six on the middle rink. They had to make up 20. Whoa, that's 27-9 and nine in the other direction. Who was that? What rink's that? So that's uh, Scotty Thor Thorwin, Scotty uh, T, and Jay by Norris. Jay by Norris and Kane Nelson. So let's do some math. <laughs> 18 shots there. Well, it's 18 shots plus six. Yeah, they got up, by, Bell. got up by four total. At the end of that game, uh, Mount Lewis, even though they dropped one rink by 20 shots. They won 9 1. That is crazy. Yeah, there it is there. 58 52, 9 1. Uh, Mount Lewis Lions have won there. So, what was, what, sorry, what was the middle rink score again? What was Axon's score? Uh, so Axon, uh, who was it? Axon Brett Spur. Uh, 22 14. So, Lewis Lions, wow. I'll get a mention on the podcast this week. <laughs> Still two games to go yet. Mm. Uh, we'll really it may not be a podcast this week. <laughs> 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 we're we'll and uh, Engadine, 59 48. So, we're really up there, 10, 10 0. 10 0 to Warilla, yeah. That's yeah. probably expected, but. Yeah. Expected Warilla to, to, to win it. Probably, at, probably, at, not, at, 10, at, probably not 10 0, but. After they played a game there last week and probably played four or side there all week. So Bell Rose and yeah, John dead last there, look. Bell Rose and St. John's still going. It's pretty close. On the on the first one, Matty <laughs> Flapper and Dave Ferguson fourteen seven, so St. John's up there by Dawny seven. Dawny killing it again. Yep. And uh fifteen eleven, so St. John's just up over Bell Rose there as the as that game closes out. Uh, Wenty Leagues, Cabra. Hasn't finished yet either. Oh, 16 20. So, first rink, 
20 shots to Aaron Wilson's team over Brett Wilkie. 16. Uh, the middle rink's still going after 19 ends. 11 all. Uh, that's Nick Cahill's team against Trent Whittingham. And in the third rink also still going. Only up to 16 ends. Jeez. That's Carl Healy and, Bar- Carl Healy and Barry Lester. Uh, 17-10. So Cabra looking like just winning there at the moment. That'll be a standoff on that rink. See who was taking longest. Maryland's magic. And Maryland's and Carlingford is still going as well. So 20 ends finished there on the middle rink. 23-10. Aaron Sheriff over... Um, Chico. Mm. Chico, yeah. 23-10. He's that Aaron Sheriff fellas come on, hasn't he? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Cody Packer, my mate Cody, and uh, might, might go somewhere one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Cody Stick's Packer up. and Darren Burnett, twenty to ten. So Maryland's <laughs> dominating there a little bit. Eleven twenty-four, however, on the other rink, uh, that's the Ryan Burnett versus Sean Thompson. So, yeah, right. so it's interesting. No, I grew up over there. I didn't realise they had koalas in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's pretty good for you. I'll give you that. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. <laughs> Josh Bell's ball still holding the shot here. And Scott coming in. Yeah, at least Maitland's still got the next three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the chance, all temporarily at the top of the ladder at the moment with 20 points. Well, Cameron mm-hmm. Matter lucky to win that and jump ahead of them. Having beaten Engadine, they've left them standing. St John's will jump. So probably Cabra Matter and uh, St John's Park looking like one and two at the moment on the ladder. Mount Lewis will stick in. Well, might jump as well, actually. They would slightly up. The move, one of the movers will be uh, this side, likely, at this point. So we've had a quick chat with uh, our wonderful production team uh, from Spacequake Sports. And we'll once this game's finished, we'll finish up. Won't continue on with a. Uh, it's not much point because the, the next game to watch is actually the, the rink three over or two over, and uh, you yeah, know, unless you're a Jets fan, <laughs> it's not one you want to watch. Twenty eight. I'm, uh, happy, to hang, I'm happy to hang around for that one. Yeah, well, I'll be too. But <laughs> he wants to go home. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. <laughs> That's right. All of us have got some busy schedule. These the production team's actually heading down to um, down to the city. Going straight from now, or are they going to stay the night? I'm not sure, last David, but knowing them, they'll be nicking off as soon as they go. I'd, I'd say. They'll pack up and go. Um, the next game we're broadcasting, of course. I think it's a Rares round four. I think Bowser will be drawing just for that jack high bowl of Nathan Mitchell's there because yeah. he's, he's got one bowl against five at the moment. There's another score up in the middle rink there. It's 15 to 10 in favour of East Midland. Oh, yep. Walker Davis over Schreiner. And it's the end of the 19th, so there'll be two ends to go, five up. You'd think they'd get at least one point out of it, mm. out of this game. But um, what's this? What's the score here? It's uh, 24-13. So this one got away from Maitland as well, East Maitland. So a match tomorrow being live-streamed at 1 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon. I'll be playing pennant. Sorry, everyone. And uh, it'll be Lee Strainer. Sorry, Lee Strainer, who's playing now. Lee Stinson. Oh, geez, I do that a lot too. Lee Stinson uh, uh, in charge of the commentary. He'll be hosting tomorrow night. And then Sunday at Warilla for round five will be uh, Warilla Gorillas versus Cabramatta Blance. And that's a huge game. Opportunity for Hayden here to try and get... Terrace is bowling out. He's in the area. He's interested. He's scoring, down. Oh, yeah. Nope. Out right the hole. Right. That was a just good attempt. I think Landon was calling for a backhand cover there, but I think Marty likes forehand draw onto the shot ball. He's just going to crack yeah, it down towards... Whichever way he does it, he just needs another ball in there. Yeah, but he cracks that down. He's going to push it towards his other ones. They might have a little competition on the rink score and he might be pushing for... <laughs> yeah, they're relentless. Foot on the oh, throat. That's where they're successful, right? Correct. Only speed gets down to that. The inside and flops. And ball's still probably worth three. Another one in the head, as you said. Yep. 
Bad, bad. You're watching the wrong screen. I'm uh, talking about comments, actually, at the moment, but you're not wrong. I'll put that back up. Sorry, he's, uh, I'm actually going by the looking at the uh, comments and trying to encourage my family to get, get on and watch this, too. They're watching the football at the moment. It's no good, no good to anyone. You know where you stand in that family, then? <laughs> well, I know that my wife was calling me up while I was... Uh, Standing up behind you guys, asked me why the internet's down at home. I don't know. <laughs> it's a long way away. And, uh, <laughs> and she said, I said, well, just, just jump on the uh, on your data and start watching the bowl. She went, I'm not that bored yet. Wow. <laughs> and that, oh, that cut deep, man. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's actually, it's a brilliant game. You've got to tell her, Andrew Reese is on. <laughs> I will, actually, next well, time. That brings them That'll in. make anybody turn off. That brings them in. She does like the nuggety guys. It's a... <laughs> Yeah, my hair's not dyed red, mate. <laughs> Fantastic. It's got one. Well, it's more grey, the grey white these days. <laughs> the Maddie. Bit unlucky there, Hayden. I thought he pulled a shot out of that. Sorry, did I get that wrong? No, he got the underside of the bowl and oh. just rolled it onto the jack. Yep. One, of those, one of those things where you've got, you've got the numbers to be made, but you know, millimetres either side, you just don't get the result you're after. Yep. Well, they're 31 shots down after 55 ends. And uh, in a world of hurt, he's Maitland. Trying to figure out what that does to their. Uh... Sorry, I was just checking that. Oh, what? Yeah, one end. One end for a two. We're just looking at the live score, which you can see on the results portal, results.bowlslink.com.au. And we're looking at the card for the farthest rink. And uh, they've won literally one end in 17. Which is almost unheard of. At this level, yeah. At any level. It's crazy. Home-field advantage. <laughs> well, this not, not for a marquee player. No. This could hurt the Griffins, but just that score, their uh, margin's going to go to yeah, absolute hell. <laughs> yep, we got one on the far rank. Another one. <laughs> and he, uh, the skipper falls on his back. Jake, he's, yeah. must, have been, must have been a cracker. He's collapsed. <laughs> it was a head and hope. <laughs> it was. He threw, was we had, had to do a few of those. You know, at one point he was complaining because the jack didn't bounce off the, off the backboard and oh, come no. back. No. He's, uh, Josh Bell well played, sir. Pretty fair start. Just looking at this, uh, we're all gorillas temporarily sitting on top of the ladder, as we said. But they've got 20 points and a scoreline of minus four. You yeah, that, that, was the, that was the touch up they got from Terrace last week. Yep. I keep getting all the guys, all the uh, Terrace guys that were here all around me as I was walking around, we're chatting about that. You should have been at the, at the hangar last week. Yeah, well. Have you got any more games up this way? Um, that's a good question. That's a look. All of the info for all of that is on our Facebook page, and I'll be able to find it straight away. Live stream schedule. So, should do. So, round five, Warilla. Round six will be Belrose. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So that's it uh, on the 20th. Uh, round seven is Carlingford. Round eight will be Maryland's yeah, point, Mount on. Lewis, and then St. John's. So, no, I think it's all city games after this. We're happy to travel, aren't we, Andrew? Right. Any For time a fee? you was... <laughs> <laughs> Do you say a fee or a feed? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can join the, join the sports team then. <laughs> we'll be in that. Oh, yeah, shaming jokes about these portly little fellas like myself. <laughs> and me. 
No, that's it. So, yeah, Belrose, Carlingford, Maryland's the point. Mount Lewis and St. John's, which is a St. John's East Maitland game, by the way. Round 11. The the point play Raymond Terrace as well. We could go down for that one, couldn't we, Andrew? Oh, the point v Terrace? No, I was thinking East Maitland against St. St. Haven't been to St. John's for a fair while. Might be a sec. So Terrace, I know they're on the road. They actually physically go on the road tomorrow. I'll just jump out for a little just while, folks. Just to uh, let Katie jump in. Andrew, yep. Andrew's been booted. Yeah. Just for a second. Just, 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 had, just had one of the board members. We don't let him down. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. All right, so I'm going to introduce him the way I always do. Who are you and what are you doing here? <laughs> at the moment, watching bowls. Yeah, but who are you? <laughs> oh, Kobe Caddo uh, from East Maitland. Kobe Caddo, one of the great names, one of the great hairstyles in bowls too, by the way. Absolutely. It's, uh, Only it's, second year. So. <laughs> it's got uh, lovely blue stripes going through it at the moment too. It's yeah. a bit good. Yeah. What have you thought about the game, yet? Yeah, it's... Um, you might get a chance to play next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. It'll be a good experience. But, yeah. Um, been very fun to watch. Oh, very educational. Mm. Playing them at high standard this one, and uh, you'll be able to carry that through to the juniors next week. Yep. It's a, in a big format. 90-90 is down there. Yeah. It's going to be huge, yeah. mate. Not wrong. How many titles are you bringing home, now? <laughs> Hopefully all three. Yeah, that'll be good. That's, uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's the idea. That's it. It's your year this year, I reckon, actually. I was saying that to uh, Andrew Lynn a couple of weeks ago. Is it your last year out of Kobe? Yeah, yeah I'm, last year out of. I'm 17 at the moment. So I'll turn 18 in December. Mm. So. Last crack at it. Yeah. Oh, three titles is a good way to end it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, hope you do it, man. Hope you do it. Oh, I hope so, too. That's it. We'll see you in one of these. Uh, well, you're already wearing your East Maitland uniform right now. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you on these greens soon, I'm sure. Without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. It's always the hope. So, Hayden here having a look. He's looking for multiples. He wants his score up. What would you be playing, do you reckon? We'll have a look at the Hayden again in a sec. Turn around and have a look at all the boards. There it is. What's Man. holding? Oh, it looks not really much. Of Those it. two bowls are holding them out for a bunch. Maybe power through hookies. Get uh, who's out? Hunter's bowl. Oh, power through hookies on the. What's it called? Uh, Choppy's bowl. Choppy's bowl, yep. Run on to punters is the only way you can get Anything. a large number, yeah. We're on the second last end, and yeah, he's definitely looking for multiples. It's still, well, it's getting close up, but uh, I think they're going to run out of ends yeah. to make a move. And that far rank at 28.3 is pretty big. You know, I think he's under. Oh, he moved it. Oh. One or two, One, maybe one. three. Well, Lennon just said it's one. Hmm. Camera angles, because of the way the fisheye lenses work, it can be a bit deceptive. And there's that big crack down my screen, which doesn't help either. Huh. What happened there? Um, I actually don't know. Yeah, <laughs> well, we turned it on, it was like that, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wasn't like that yesterday. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, let's move Jack back a bit. It's a done. One to uh, East Maitland, and we're on the final end. Wowee. Well, hey. Runaway bowl. <laughs> the bowl shot up and inside the club. What happened there? Oh, the... ran up the ramp. Yeah, Jake's had a, Jake's had a run and pushed the ball up the rump there at the <laughs> left hand side of the screen. <laughs> and it's gone into the club. Yeah. He'd have a pretty sore arm tonight. Oh, yeah, he's had a few runs, hasn't he? <laughs> Just a couple. Last time I saw some of that Matty Flapper at the BPL smack Jack up. He went up, went a good 15 feet in the air and landed next to a 
a disabled lady in a wheelchair <laughs> on the bank and then rolled in and as, as the ball rolled up to the windows, it, um, the doors opened and it went right inside the club. They had to retrieve it from under, under one of the tables. Oh, Scared the hell out of everyone, especially that lady. She screamed. <laughs> everyone jumped. Yeah, choppies wants that. We'll get your contract in BPL too, surely. Surely. Not yet, probably. My dreams are dead. <laughs> get you down and run a uh, right at home challenge. We'll see if you can get you. It's <laughs> tough, man. It's, it's tough. There's a lot of hecklers down there. <laughs> Been a few more years before that, I'd say. So we get to see this bowl. Here we go. Watch this. Bounce up there, up the ramp. <laughs> see you later. The club. That's brilliant. <laughs> Let's go for a drink. <laughs> Must be an East Maitland ball trying to get off that rink. That's fantastic. Well done, David, and the uh, and the uh, Spacequake Sports team. Showing us that replay. Well found. That was absolutely brilliant. Just make sure we get the time on that. We'll make that a little highlight. Quite well, mate. Jade Hipworth asking who's in the commentary. Well, you've got DJ. Have a chance, mate. You've got me. What was your name again? Uh, uh, Josh Walker Davis. <laughs> <laughs> you got Kobe Cattell. Uh, have I said that wrong again? Cato. Uh, uh, Cato. Cato. Cato, yeah. Toby Cato uh, joining us. Uh, absolute legend of a junior five, bowler. Yeah. Just about to age out. Brilliant. Oh, oh, good shot there by Tyler. Tight. Your penance on the mark, Kobe? Yes. We're, um, we're at Charlestown. In the twos. We're at two. Yep. So, uh... Raymond Terrace, uh, you guys were talking to me about round one last week, well, round two it was, I think, round at the uh, at the hangar last week. Mate, Music and going off absolutely, yeah, and uh, Brendan Saw saying I need to get there on the 20th of April. Sadly, Brendan, um, I'll be in Greece, so no. <laughs> it's a long trip back. <coughs> Cut one out. Oh, he's sitting on the bank. Oh, good, mate. Play with your first one. Don't play, bud. Still sitting there, still leaning over and picking the balls up as they come through. Yep. Well, Brendan's made a correction with the line here. Yes. See what can happen. Oh, wow. Back cut it. On a touch or two. Wow, we. Reese has got out a commentary straight on the phone order and a door dash. <laughs> Did you? Has it popped up? <laughs> you believe it? We're in East Midland Bowling Club and he's ordered a door dash from the restaurant. He can't even walk in there to get it himself. <laughs> I didn't even think about getting a pizza delivery or something to the commentary box. <laughs> Yeah, but everyone, what's that sound of us chewing in there? Is that travel shirt's oh, blue? I, mean, I, don't, I don't think one pizza would have done the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> one each. <laughs> yeah, our, our travel shirt's at Navy. Right. Well, the middle of the ring's yeah, finished. One point to East Maitland. Yes. So was that was that the middle rink's done? Middle rink's done. That was a uh, win for Josh Walker Davis over Lee Schreiner. Well, there you go, guys. Lee Schreiner just in Norton just took a bit quietly because no one rubbing in. He's lost two in a row, mm. and that's pretty unusual. And that one by ten shots. That's, too. that's an interesting one, but because they were they were so far down, mm. they came back to only trail 12-10. That's right. Yep. And then yep. Oh, and they finished at twenty ten. Exactly we met them right. again. So yeah. Got, got to ten and then went and kicked off. off. Mm. So it is interesting. Well, at least one point for uh, East Maitland. And certainly, the three ends to go on the on the final rink, then two away from us, twenty-eight to three. Uh, nothing good's going to come out of that. 
boys having a good time next to us here. I think they're Jets fans. Yeah. From the hangar? I think so. Yes. Brad Nichols. I had the pleasure of playing DJ in, at East Cessnock in the Australian Indoor. Top bloke, he says. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> it's a lovely thing to say. Good on you. Poor Judge of Character. Poor Judge of Character comes the voice from behind us. Please, please don't tell too many people, bro. I've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Oh, Bart Hayden, well played. Oh, Jack to here is still two. Yeah, not bad for him. <laughs> not bad for him. Basically good for the edge, really. Oh, I think you just got to pick your pace like, yeah, and get the shank off Jacobs part of that. Are you talking, about, are you talking about me or Kobe? Because it's, it's not DJ. What's he said? <laughs> it's Faye, so Faye Winther saying yeah. uh, it sounds like the actor Shane Jacobson. Oh, Jack. Jack. Oh, oh basically. Good. Got him out. Well done. No fun, is he? That's, oh, I mean, to be honest with you, it's nicer being on this side of it than actually being on the green with them. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Oh, that was devastating. It's not, just relentless, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just foot on the throat, keep going. Come on, A little bump, it'll help. Good, enough. Good, buddy. Good. One down, I think. Chop it off if you get it on the jack, same play, we're still one. Yeah. Asking again to crack it. See him play with the balls in front of the jack this time. Yes, shot, mate. Oh, wow. Good shot. Shot, mate. How good is he? Oh, wow. oh, oh. <laughs> it's gone back to where it was. <laughs> it's gone back to where it was. That's well, all done and done, done and dusted on this ring too. It's interesting how, how many jacks have seen shoot back forward yeah. in this this game. It's, oh, the jacks are pretty heavy here. Well, they, yeah, on the synthetic jacks are heavier than the standard grass ones. Yeah. And that one uh, popped up, bounced all the way back, and finished in the exact same position it started. Oh. All that happened is the bowl moved out. Still one, I think, the East Maitland, and they are shaking hands. And that is the end of that game. I'm going to say this again. We're not going to go over to the 29-3 rink to watch the last two ends. It's uh, not not a thing. I don't think we'll, uh, oh. unless you're a Jets fan, we'll, we'll probably sit here and watch it anyway. But, Kobe, thanks, mate. Yeah, I'm going to get pleasure. you to jump up and give Andrew the uh, headset back. Yep. Thanks for jumping on. I'll see you next week. Yes. Yeah, you will. Have another seat, mate. You can, do the, you can do the outro. That's it. We're just doing the, doing the finish up now. I don't want to be now. doing the outro. I'm not getting paid for that. So, <laughs> not even getting the free drinks that I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how about that? Uh, Raymond Torres flexing their muscles again. But yeah, man. Quality side. They're going to be it they're going to be in there towards the end. Doesn't matter where they play, it's going to be tough. Any any away game, home games are going to be extremely tough to beat them there. Which, having said that, I think they got beat there last week. But um, yeah, they, I think they've got a game coming up at St John's game at Carlingford. They're going to be tough no matter where they go. Yeah, exactly right. And the uh, the other little bit of intrigue there is Lee Schreiner's rink has lost two in a row. Yeah, well, I made that comment earlier. I put the kibosh on him, didn't I? Mm. I said, well, I think. That's, that's the reason I picked the Jets was I, I thought he was going to bounce back strong from that last game. And yeah, yeah, well, even uh, the far rink, you wouldn't have predicted it to be as big a margin as it is. Yeah, exactly right. So, so. just uh, this is uh, on the screen now. You'll see this is the uh, next live stream game, Maryland's versus Belrose. Uh, Mr. Lee Stinson, I got his name right for the first time tonight, Uh 31-3 now after 20, so the last end coming over there. Um, we'll be taking you through that at 1pm tomorrow as our next live stream, and after that there'll be another one from Warilla on uh, Sunday afternoon as well. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. Thanks for, for having us, man. No, it was you. absolutely Enjoyed amazing. It. Get on to the, uh, the podcast. What's it called? What a load of balls. Brought to you by the Balls Academy. <laughs> That's it. Get in there and uh, have a look at that on uh, on Spotify. I'll definitely be doing that, or wherever you get your podcast. I'll definitely be doing that tomorrow on the way home. Gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. And it has been, Ben. Thanks for having us, Andrew. Thanks yeah, for coming been, in off the bench. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. No yeah, problem at all. Once Warren Shipley put his family first, it was good to have you come in, yeah. Mitch. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure to fill the great man's shoes. <laughs> I've done well. And you certainly filled that chair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so from... Uh, Me belly with door <laughs> Thanks, Liz. <laughs> so from Bowles, New South Wales, and uh, the 2024...